Much better, much better. Okay. <laughs> it's like, why is it doing that? So, where do we leave off? Well, on the last stream, we just got through a whole bunch of like caves and different areas like that. And they were long. They were pretty intense to get through. I almost died a few times. But we got through the caves. We got to this new town. And we've pretty much fully explored the town. The only thing we have to do now, I believe, is go into this place called Pokemon Tower, which people are talking about ghosts and stuff in there. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be dealing with. But it is time. Let's do this. I feel like my little Joy-Con dies like every 30 seconds if I'm not actually using it. It's, I think it's charged. <laughs> it's just dying really fast. Okay, so we did come in here real quick, but this is where we basically stopped the last stream. So I talked to these folks down here and they were just kind of making mentions of ghosts and things up here. Yes, Phantasma. In the race we just did, it was a much better track this time for sure. And your cat just dropped your switch today with its dock, but it's fine. Max, did it do that typical cat thing where they just kind of like shove it until it falls off the table? Okay, she says, you there. If you wish to know the truth behind the wandering spirits haunting this tower, well, even we challengers couldn't identify them. But maybe with the right tool, yes, perhaps the self scope might let one see the truth behind this mystery. So when we talked to her earlier and she said that, I thought, oh, do I need to like explore the town and find that? But I didn't see one. That Kubone looks like it was searching for something. Maybe it's up on one of the higher floors. A Kubone. I have a shiny Kubone. That was the first shiny that we got, actually. Oh, yeah. And then she wanted a fight, but I think she was pretty tough. Oh, a b -b -b battle? Well, I'm kind of strong. Let's battle her. Here g -g goes nothing. All right, what does she have? Coach Trainer Holly. So the Coach Trainers are always kind of difficult, aren't they? Okay, you have a Geodude, so I need to get rid of Pikachu real fast. Oh, and Disney, you went to a swim fitness class the other day, and it's a mix between swimming and Zumba. Oh, that's really cool. Swimming is like just one of the best exercises you can do because it's very easy on your joints. You know, like running and stuff, it's good for you. But that can cause a lot of damage to your knees over time. Okay, we should probably switch to either our grass or this one. Oh wait, I think Kubone was actually really good against this guy. If I remember correctly. <laughs> We're both sailors, Relentless. I've only gotten like two outfits. The sailor outfit and the, um, the Pikachu outfit, I think it was. It did a decent amount of damage, but it wasn't effective. He's just much higher level than me. Okay, so I think these attacks are strong against it. Which one is my stronger attack? I think Dig is my best. Oh, she was just trying to sleep, uh, Max. <laughs> Poor kitty. But I'm glad your switch is okay, Max. That would be terrifying. There we go. Not great damage. It's just I'm so low level. I can probably do one more of those and then I got to switch out or heal. Ouch, ouch, <laughs> ouch. Oh, you have a broken Joy-Con? What happened to that? Was it the um, the drift? Oh, what happened? I guess it didn't let me do my attack. Let me try it again. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, I think I have just missed him or something. Hmm. This is bad because my only higher level Pokemon is Andy. I might have to go back and actually level up a bit. I guess I don't have to beat this trainer. I just thought, why not? I might have a better time just going into this place. But let's start with this so we can get, like, damage over time. Oh my gosh, so much damage. And uh, the left one has no stick button. And it's your fault because it dropped two days after. Oh no, Max. <laughs> right after you bought it. That sucks, dude. Yeah, Andy um, 
had damaged one of her phones shortly after we bought it. But luckily, it's just behind the case. Like, as long as there's a case on it, you can't tell. It was not that big of a deal. And it works just fine. Oh, okay. There we go. Now we're getting some damage. This is only the first one, too. I think we might want to do farm some experience. Yeah, I think I might do that after this, Tajay. If there's more that I, I can't avoid. And this is going to kill him, unfortunately. Oof. Yeah, level is, like, really important in this game. Even if you can have the optimal Pokemon against them, if they've got five levels on you, it doesn't make much difference. No game has required your L3 yet? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Although, I guess it just depends on what games you play. Hey, we avoided it, finally. That should take care of Geo, dude. Now what comes next? Oh, it was just the one. Oh, thank goodness. I thought we were going to get more. So I think I'm going to go heal up and then we'll do some grinding, catching some Pokemon and level up a bit. That battle took my mind off things a little bit. Here, I found these lying around. Pikachu candies. Pikachu, sorry. <laughs> so do I feed that to Pikachu when I'm like petting? Her? The candies that make Pokemon stronger. I have a bunch too. I keep them safe in my candy jar. Or is it just something that I can feed Pikachu at any time? And it like increases her stats. See, it's in the candy jar. And we have a bunch of these. How does this work? Increases all stats by one? Wait, have I been ignoring this feature the entire game? <laughs> this is the first time I think they've mentioned it to me. And level is real important in normal Pokemon, but not so much in Legends. It, then it's more skill-based, I'm guessing, Mac or Monkey. So mostly Splatoon 2, and then some Mario Kart and Smash Brothers. You know, my Switch playing is kind of the same way. I mostly play like Nintendo exclusives, and if I'm playing a non-Nintendo game, I play on something else. Sweet. Can I give it to a fainted Pokemon? It won't have any effect. I'm guessing that's because they're fainted. Does it last forever? Because, yeah, why would I not just buff the heck out of all these characters? I could probably, you know, balance this out more, but I'm always starting with Andy, and she's already my most powerful Pokemon. Okay, we'll do a little bit more of that later. You burn yourself, uh, burn yourself out on Animal Crossing, Max. Andy kind of did the same thing. She played a lot. She still jumps in from time to time, but she takes a bit of a break. But when it first came out, that was like the only game she played for about like six months or something. That game came out at the perfect time. And I think it's like the second best-selling Switch game right after Mario Kart. Which, that always kind of surprised me. I mean, Mario Kart's great, but like, I kind of expected like a mainline Zelda or mainline Mario game to sell more, but no. Mario Kart's the most popular, even more than Smash Brothers. Yeah, same, Max. Now, the reason I prefer to get games on um, PC versus anything else, if I have the option, is because I always feel like I'm getting a... Um, game that I can I will always have access to pretty easily because even when Windows upgrades and stuff there's usually ways to get the older games to work and sometimes I get a game and it's like you know you can get a game on the PS4 you can get the game on the PS5 but if you get the game on PC and your PC is good enough it's essentially like you're playing it on the PlayStation 6 <laughs> you know you're playing it beyond what the PS5 can even do okay Oh my gosh, I hear Jesse screaming. I think Andy uh, just got home or something or was taken off. And Xbox keeps giving you games that won't work. Oh, you mean the PC versions from Game Pass, Phantasma? Okay, I think I need to go backwards here a little bit to try to find wherever I can catch these Pokemon. 
<laughs> I wouldn't trust an adult like that either. Unless you're at like a convention or something. Everybody's dressing like that. Okay, fire. We want to switch to water, right? Water puts out fire. <laughs> Not even there, Phantasma. Yeah, the Switch is usually the weakest version, Max. Although the portability makes for a pretty good case as well. Like having these games portable is pretty fantastic. Which is one reason I'm very excited for the Steam Deck coming out soon. I don't know when I'm going to get mine, but I'm excited just the same. Ask away, Phantasma. We got some folks that know way more about Android than I do. And you do prefer to get visual novel games on Switch since it's more portable. Yeah, and some games just work really well portable for sure. And an Ace Attorney game is going to look pretty much exactly the same on Switch as it does on PC. Maybe you can go 4K on the PC, but like the, the graphics style isn't changing much. We're getting a decent amount of money from these guys now. Did they remove Xbox from it? That's kind of strange. I thought that um, they were going to be going full on. Let's see, is this the right way to go? This is Route 10. Um, is there a map? I think there's a map I can look at. I wanted to see. I get to a map. <laughs> I wanted to see if there's like a higher level route. Maybe I want to go to to collect stuff. Is it in my bag? Here we go. There's a town map. But that's just the town that I'm in right now, huh? Oh no, this is kind of everything. Okay, there's Route 8, Route 10, Route 12. I want to try to go down Route 12. Because I assume there'll be higher level Pokemon to capture there. You're thinking of switching from your iPhone, but you have lots of music and photos, and can you transfer them easily? It might not be just the push of a button, Phantasma, but through some manual steps, I don't think it'd be too tough. Oh wait, that's where the ship is, huh? Where's the actual route? Did that say Route 12? Hold on. It does say Route 12, but there's like no real path to catch Pokemon or anything that I can see. And this goes on the ship, right? Yeah, there's like no Pokemon to catch on the ship, I don't think. So I guess we're going to Route 10. Now, I'm curious, um, Phantasma, why are you thinking of switching from iPhone to uh, Android? Oh. I think I found something. What'd you find, buddy? Cubone is happily staring at the swaying flowers. Oh, I guess Cubone just likes flowers. Oh, is that a fishing route? I haven't even tried the fishing yet. I'm going to try to avoid as much as I can to get to the collecting portions. You just got a 13 and it's already slowing down? That's crazy. I always thought that iPhones, from like just like a speed process, you know, they were always generally really good. I know they purposely slow them down over time because of battery life concerns, but oh, in just a year, that seems crazy. Yeah, it sounds like there's something wrong with it, I would think. Okay, what are we fighting against? Grab, I bet Thunderbolt will take this thing out. <laughs> yeah, one shot. Yeah, essentially take it to like an iTunes store or Apple store, and they should just look into it and maybe even just swap it out for free. Especially if it's not that old. Um, they're bringing out a sand one. I think I'll switch switch out to uh, my water Pokemon. I'm actually better going west from Lavender, as that way you're going to need to go anyways. Also, you want to do some battles for experience there. There's a bunch of fishers with weak teams south of town. So I want to go west. Okay. And the west was, what, Route 8? It seemed like I would assume that was, like, weaker stuff.
Yeah, your, your iPhone's way too new to have those kind of problems. They should hopefully just give you a brand new one. <laughs> true, Tajay, true. Ooh, almost in one hit. Okay, so when this happens, it would be smart to, like, do something to protect myself, because I can't really attack him right now. Yeah, like this right here. This will increase my defense. That's, it's the worst thing in the world, Phantasma. It's like when your car's having problems, you take it to the mechanic and it doesn't do it anymore. It's like, it stops having the issue. You're like, I swear it was making a noise. Okay, so we're gonna go back to town and then go west. Now, remember last stream, we did buy a whole bunch of healing items and uh, Pokeballs, so that's good. Have I even been this way before? I thought I entered town from a different direction. Uh-oh, something else happened, Tajay? Oh, true. I mean, I was just there, though, Tajay. I guess I took a little bit of damage, but... <laughs> so trying to keep things moving. I don't think this thing could survive Thunderbolt. I got three levels on him. Oh no, it wasn't effective. <laughs> Waggling finger did a kick? Oh, we avoided it. Nice. What was that? Looked like a big nut. Uh-uh. <laughs> Fantasma. A polite amount of time. I like that. <laughs> yeah, the only time I ever plug my uh, phone into my computer is if I want to get pictures off of it or something. Or videos or something. Uh, should an old move be forgotten? Now what do we get? What do we just unlock? Focus energy. So we can do more critical hits. But we currently have this thing that it increases attack every time we... Hit and headbutt. I think I'm going to keep what we have. Nah. We'll keep the old moves. <laughs> I love that. Stop. You don't have to be so mean. Okay. Let's find where we can actually catch some Pokemon. Looks like right in here, which is good. Do it, Pikachu. Whoa, that thing just came right at me. Yeah, I feel like I get more experience from these than the battles, and they also go much quicker. Oh, you jumped me. It's more of a time efficiency thing. Of course, if I do that, it might not go so quick. What was that? There I go, throwing them away like candy again. Yeah, I feel like for good Windows backup stuff, Max, people will usually go to third-party software. <laughs> do all the games do that, Relentless? That shaking three times? I wasn't sure if that's... Just in this game, or is it all of them? Oh, I almost missed it. And chaining gives a bonus to experience earned. So that's when you do multiple catches just in a row. Does it matter if you miss like that? Or is it just like if you keep catching them? Right versus like leaving and going to a battle or a town or something. There we go. <laughs> that's cool. So that's like... I'm sure super nostalgic. Okay, so we're getting 170 experience for these. But I figure the longer we do this, the more we're getting. Oh, you want to keep getting the same species. Okay. Well, this guy seems to be spawning a lot here. Maybe we'll try to get more of this. 
I get how the combos work now, okay. Oh, this is the Growlithe. Okay, we, I did already have one of these. <laughs> that, that's, that, that last little click is such a satisfying noise, isn't it? Yep, got 242 that time. So let's see how much it goes if we catch another one of these. Okay, try to avoid everything else, John. Oh gosh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Come on, Growlithe. It seems like they appear and then they disappear again. Oh, you can run if you hit one by mistake. That's good to know. Come on, Growlithe. Whoops. I didn't even realize she was a battling person. That probably screwed up my combo, too. Oh, I bet they would, Skywalker. I mean, I can see how this game definitely would hook kids. Absolutely. Oh, I had a hard time with this guy earlier, didn't I? I don't remember why, but I had a real hard time. Let's just try this out. I forget what was good against it. I don't think I have the ability that's good against it. That worked pretty well. Just bolt this guy? Nice. Yeah, better than nothing. But for Psy, I think you guys were telling me I need to like dark damage or some something else I don't th even think I found yet. Hey, we got a critical hit. <laughs> He's a good one to have. Uh, I haven't had a chance to catch him yet. Thunder. Is that better than what we have? Let's check that out. We only can do 10 of them. That makes me think it's pretty powerful. 110 power, 70 accuracy. 90 power, but 100 accuracy. It's definitely more powerful, not as accurate. <laughs> Look at Andy the Presidente go. Hmm. But it can also paralyze them. I think we probably want to learn this. Should I just switch it? You think stick with Thunderbolt? The 100% accuracy is nice. Yeah, and I do like having these other abilities for different types of enemies. So I guess we'll stick with what we got. Uh, keep the old moves. Oh, I guess I don't even have to stick around this area um, to find another Growlithe, huh? I don't know what your deal is, but we're just going to blast you. That worked pretty well. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Oh, he did a lot of damage, but he hurt himself in the process. Okay, this should finish him off. This guy's actually tougher than us. Like, higher level, I think. Okay, we actually got like 400 damage or experience from that thing. That was more than we got for catching that Growlithe. But the Growlithe was really quick. There's one. There we go. Nice. Excellent. Wait, what's the deal with the five Ultra Balls, Max? Okay, so that would be... Oh, yeah, 335. So it, it seems to go up pretty quick. Yeah, so let's try to keep grinding just that one. Yep, catch combo two, nice. I'm sure I've done that a few times on accident, but I've never like purposely tried to get combos. There's one. Oh, quick, come here, come here, come here. I don't know which one I hit. They were like right next to each other, nice. Oh, 
Aw, oh, dang. I bet we got him this time. So how long has Eevee been a thing in Pokemon? Is that new with this set of games or is that like a classic Pokemon? I know Pikachu, Pikachu's been there forever. It was Gen 1, oh cool. Yeah, forever. Are there any, oh dang it, that screwed up my combo though. Oh, I could run away though. I've never actually tried to do this before. Got away safely. <laughs> does it disappear? It does. Okay. All right. Come on, Growlithe. Problem with Growlithe is, man, they move fast once they spawn. Should I be moving around, or does that make any difference as to how they spawn? Ooh, that was close. I guess you could run into the other ones and then run away just to make them disappear, right? That might give you a higher chance to then get another Growlithe. Because it seems like they stick around for a good 30, 60 seconds. And then when they finally disappear, something else pops up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because there's only so many spawns. It looks like this place can have three. So it'd be better just to do this, which takes about six seconds. Get rid of them and hope another one pops up. Dragon Knight. I don't think I've seen that one yet. That's not a shiny, is it? I think it's just like a sp small one. If I just gave up a shiny one, that'd be bad. And how about you, Relentless? What's your favorite Pokemon? I, I think my favorite from the ones I've seen is that Kubone. I'm even saying that right. Just because his story's so metal. Come on, Growlithe. At some point, it's not going to be worth trying to do a combo because I will have wasted so much time not getting any experience. There's one. Come here. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, does your mom play Pokemon too, Relentless? That's awesome. My mom's never really played much for video games. Um, she played a few when I was young, but not really anymore. My dad loves adventure games. Any kind of, whoa, gosh, any kind of point and click games, he is down for. He actually kind of got me into those type of games. Surprise that stuck. Okay, so how much are we getting now with this combo? 121. Did I screw something up? I said combo four, but man, that was like very low experience. I thought it was, we got 200, then 300. And then it seemed really low for some reason. Run away! Okay, how what level that particular Pokemon is. So it was still higher than what it would have been without that, I'm sure. So I'm gonna try to pay attention to the levels too. This one's 24, okay. What does the CP mean? Is that how much experience I'm gonna get for catching it? Almost. Or is that how difficult it is? It looked like it just increased. Ah, oh, dang it, come on. Don't you want to be my friend? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to be captured, no. There we go. And your mom plays Pokemon Go actively, Relentless, and has watched you play some of the games. See, that's neat, it's, an, it's a nice gateway drug. Okay, so level 24 is not worth very much experience. Yeah. 
Or maybe I need to go someplace where I'm just catching higher level Pokemon because these don't seem to be doing it for me. Oh, here's a big one. Also level 24, darn it. I'm surprised that actually hit him. Oh, that's good to know. You get a bonus if they're big or small. I would have thought small ones would be easier. Like almost less experience. But I guess they're just kind of special. There we go. Okay, so that's a six combo. Sorry, yeah, I'm trying to get through this fairly quick just because I know it would be nice to try to finish this game, but I don't even think we're halfway done. And this is our fifth stream of the game? But as JRPGs are often to do, you do get a little bit of grinding. You expect me to read? <laughs> Where do you think you are, Tate? What was that? Oh, almost got excellent there. Oh, first time. At some point, does the combo... Oh, gosh. Only a 1.2 multiplier. There goes Georgie. I think Annie just got back home. <laughs> I love that. You guys in chat are all highly desirable. I forget where that came from. What were we playing at the time? That might have been before we actually put that on there. Oh, here's a small one. There we go. No, actually, I think it's because we got a package. That's what it was. That's a little bit better. So part of it is the technique. Like if you actually hit it dead on and get an excellent, that can increase your experience as well. Okay, we're at a combo of eight, but that combo doesn't seem to be making a huge difference in the experience, I don't think. At least like eight times, it doesn't seem like it's doubling it or anything. Run away. That makes sense for that. Oh, it's this guy. Should I try to capture him anyway? I don't think the combo's doing too much for me. Thinking about capturing that guy. Ooh, let's get this guy first. Because that Pokemon does seem pretty powerful. I don't have anything like him. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, I gotta try to do better about getting those excellence. Make sure we get more experience. Oh, really? Oh, he got away. That might have screwed up my combo right there, actually. So maybe I will go grab this guy. Shellos. Is Shellos also like a turtle or something, Phantasma? Oh, come on, come on. Hey, first tie. So we have our first Kadabra. I don't know if we want to throw him in. Oh, it's a slug. <laughs> That's cool. Should be like a... Um, oh, look how much experience we got for that guy. Um, it should be like a snail, because at least they actually have a shell. Maybe I just picked the wrong Pokemon to grind there, because I just feel like they were lower level. Many odd things happen if this Pokemon is close by. For example, it makes clocks run backwards. That's cool. And why does he have a spoon? Like, that makes me think of, um, like, the Matrix, where that little kid is like, there is no spoon, because it's all, like, 
magic or in your mind. Let's try to get this special guy. I need to go for higher level Pokemon. And being tiny, this one will be better as well. Oh, that wasn't a good timing though. Hey, and it's level 25, so oftentimes those other guys I was getting were like 23, 24. Oh yeah, look how much more experience that is. And I might try one of those birds to see what level they are. Oh, I didn't have that yet? Wow. I've fought against a few of them. Let's get another one. He was worth a lot. The bending cutlery with your psychic powers. Yeah, I kind of like the Matrix, I guess. Yeah. Or not even just Matrix, but like magicians sort of do that a lot. Oh, dang it. Oh, good. If you get a bad throw, maybe it's good that you don't catch them with that throw, so you get another chance of getting an excellent. Not like that. Guys. There we go. He's very active. Oh, did you see it, Christian? I'm glad to see that you liked it. That's awesome. Quit moving! I guess you could, like, feed him to slow him down, huh? There we go. Come on. This time, work. Phew. There we go. That's cool. So I guess without spoiling anything, Christian, what was your favorite stunt of the movie? Okay, now we're getting levels a little bit quicker. Oh, Kubone learned something new. Let's see what this is. We can go Boner... Bone... Bone Meringue? Is that how you say that? 50 power. That's not great. 90 accuracy. User throws the bone it holds. The bone loops around to hit the target twice. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That'd be like 100 damage, right? Oh, crap. I hit the button twice. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to want to swap that out with something. <laughs> we got a Boner. So maybe Bone Club? Maybe we swap that out? That only does 65 damage. Yeah, that sounds pretty awesome. I think we'll swap that one out. Because Dig is pretty good, actually. Even though we only get 10 of them, it does 80, and we get to dodge an attack. Yeah, let's swap this one out. And your favorite was definitely the lie detector with the bear. That's also not a spoiler because it was in the commercial. Oh, that's good. Yeah, sometimes, well, that's one thing that drives me crazy about comedy movie trailers is sometimes they show all the best jokes in the trailer. So when you watch the movie, there's like nothing to surprise you. Uh, what was, there was another movie, I think by the guy that does Jackass, um, where he goes around, he's like an old guy. I forget the name of the movie. But I swear they showed every joke in the trailer, except for one like in a Denny's restaurant or something. That was pretty funny. But the rest of it was all spoiled beforehand. But let's try this bird. I'm not sure what level these guys are. And it being a ground move on a ground Pokemon. Oh, that's true. You get the stab damage, right? Okay, this one's actually kind of low level. So I'm going to run away from this one. I love that the acronym is STAB. <laughs> That's great. Hey, what about you? What level are you? <laughs> 28 stab wounds. Okay, he's level 26. This is a good catch. Especially like that. There we go. So I kind of thought to grind up my team to roughly about level 30 or so. Well, that one wasn't actually very much experience. I thought being level 26, it would have been worth more. So we definitely want to find more of the um, tiny and large Pokemon, too. Stay in there. Stay in there. 
Oh, you jerk. Now, if you do get excellent, does that increase your chances of capturing them, or is it just like a multiplier for the points? Oh, quit moving. Man, this guy might get away, actually. He does not want to get caught. I think we're using the giant balls. Which, we're supposed to have a higher chance to catch him. Finally, what was that? Six Pokemon catches later? Good. We're getting some experience, though. So. Oh, gosh. 28 stab wounds. There it is. There it is. Nice, guys. Um, There's one of these. I feel like these guys give me twice the experience of uh, the Growlithe. They're also twice as hard to catch. Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> yeah, tonight, a little after the stream is over, we're going to go get uh, some Japanese food. And I'm very excited because we're going to do that tepon table thing where they cook all the food in front of you. It's kind of like dinner and a show. So good. 319, not bad. One time we got like 500 from this guy, though. Okay, what move did you just learn? Bite? It's a dark attack. 60 damage, 100 accuracy. Also makes them flinch, which I think makes them lose a turn. I wonder what I should switch that with. Maybe this one? That's only 40. Yeah, I think I might switch it with tackle. Give him something a little bit different. I don't have any dark attacks, so that'll be good to have in our repertoire. Okay, I'm thinking I might want to do actually a couple battles just to compare the experience to what we were getting normally. So I'm getting anywhere from like two to 500 damage or experience from catching them. Let's see what we get from one of these. <laughs> what did they say? I'm a rambling gaming dude. Gamer rich. Is that what I should be dressing like as a gamer? I had no idea. It looks like he's trying to be Hugh Hefner or something. Oh yeah, we're gonna slaughter this guy. Oh, I didn't realize how low we are on life. Okay, after this, let's go heal up. Bam! Oh crap, this thing's level 35. Luckily, we avoided that attack, and we can finish it off right now. Okay, that's the only Pokemon that they have. Yeah, see, we got 500 from that. That was pretty good, but it was a high-level enemy. So when you do that, how much experience does everybody else get? <laughs> now we're ready to go back. I guess I forgot how much damage Pikachu had taken. We must be in Canada or something, because this would not be free here in America. Although, I don't know if vet services are like that as well. Probably not. They're still probably expensive in Canada. I love the pixel art for all those characters. Actually, maybe that's what it looked like if you played on um, a Game Boy Color or something. Oh, is it really Tashi? Oh, that's cool. Is Kanto the name of this whole, like, island we're on? Can I beat you up again? Because you had a lot of experience. 
No, it just ones. Yeah, it might be better to fight these guys, actually. 100% Phantasma. We would definitely... <laughs> That's kind of rude. Super Nerd Aiden. He has that typical, like, very anime nerd style to him. The so Gen 1 was in the Kanto region. Each generation has a different region, and each region is based on a different real-world area. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. It makes sense that the first one would start in Japan, a Japan-style region. One shot. Unfortunately, he wasn't high level. But we're also getting money and items from this, so that's cool. I've never been over here. I totally missed that, too. <laughs> I completely forgot about that, Relentless. That's great. Oh, my goodness. Their currency was just vomiting on each other. That's all they were doing. <laughs> what do you need money for? You're like a zombie. Okay, for this thing, we want to take out our um, round rock dude. Let's swap over to Kubone. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Relentless, you probably get whatever you were holding if you vomited on somebody. You'd be like, just get out of here. Leave. I just imagine you going to buy something Relentless and it looks like a Pokemon battle. You projectile vomit and it says, it was super effective. <laughs> you get the item for free. Okay, let's try this Bone Meringue. A hard time saying that. Crap. They might be able to dodge now. I'm not sure what that did. Oh, that's their speed. Okay. Wow, that was super powerful. And they were even a higher level than us, too. Sweet. Okay, that was worth it. Dragon Rage. Let's see what that is. It's a dragon attack type. There's so many attack types. I had no idea there was so much in this. Doesn't do any power. This attack hits the target with a shock wave of pure rage. This attack always inflicts 40 HP. 40 HP seems like a lot. I think that's a lot. Let's maybe swap out Growl. Growl just lowers their attack stat. I think we should. I don't know what that equates to in power. There's probably no like one-to-one -one formula, but it seems like maybe a hundred attack. Although what's nice is it seems like it works against anything. It always does 40 damage, right? Whether they're water or fire, fighting type, doesn't matter. And this game has a cool balance of um, the battles give you Pokeballs that you can use for catching them. And then as you're catching them, you earn experience for other stuff. It all just kind of like blends together to make all the systems work. Smart design. Okay, what you got, gamer Stan? Sky Horn. Don't want P Pikachu for this. Actually, I think Kubone was also good against this one, too. See ya. <laughs> oh, what was that star that just appeared? Is that because we were shiny? Oh, never mind. That was very strong against Kubo. I take it back. Well, I know water is also good against rock type, I believe. Let's try that again. Did they just get a critical hit, or did I pick the wrong type? 
Oh, it's level 35. That's the problem. It's really powerful. We didn't get very much experience for that high-level Pokemon. He gave me a lot of money. Okay, I should probably go and bring my character back. Go back to the hospital. We've taken some damage. We've used a lot of abilities. Yes, yes. Take care of them. Again, I know it was five minutes ago we were here, but <laughs> we put our Pokemon through their paces. I love that sound. Uh, something satisfying about that. And that big pink Pokemon behind the counter. So jolly. Like a very overweight Kirby or something. So how long is it until you can, like, challenge these guys again? Or is it after you've beaten them once, you never have to do that again? Or you never can do it again, I suppose. Meowth is so cute. Meow, meow, meow. Does that mean she's going to have a meow? That's Chauncey, is that it? <laughs> Just a pink blob. I love that. Hey, it's Lass Andrea. This is probably the closest character to resemble my wife, Andy. Also, Andrea in the game. That's cool. Droll Shanka, how's it going, Droll? It's good to see you. I'm just killing this cat Pokemon right now. That's only level 25. We'll destroy this in one hit. How are you doing, Droll? What's new? Oh no, we lost our turn. There we go. That should be a one-hit kill. Easy peasy. Not worth very much experience, though. Oh, they're going to switch out another one. I'm going to keep this. Oh, she's been busy running around, Droll. She might not have had a chance to check out her phone recently. I hear her doing a lot of work in the house right now. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to keep Pikachu out. We took out that other one easily. What does that do? Faint. Does that mean you have a chance to, like, take him out in one hit? I don't know. And another Meowth? What's the point? Oh, you are carless right now, Droll. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah, so that faint, it doesn't do a ton of damage. I wonder if that's like a chance to automatically knock me out with one hit. Finally. Hey, you shouldn't have much money. Okay, story time, Droll. <laughs> story time. I wonder if she just has a bunch of Meowths, too. Well, yeah, so you guys know when I get in these fights with them, am I ever able to battle them again, or is it like a one-time and they're done type of thing? You also have a Pikachu. Hmm. <laughs> keeps it entertaining, keeps it exciting. I love it. Okay, so for Lightning, we want to bring out Kubone, I believe. take this guy out. Yeah, that must just mean that you have a shiny every time it does that. So the faint hits through protection? Oh, I see. Okay, that's what the faint does. Because it's like, it's not faint as in like pass out, but it's faint as in like in boxing, if you pretend to throw a punch, but you're not intending to hit them, they call that a faint. It kind of like causes you to dodge sort of thing. 
Okay, this will probably be a one hit. Okay, so they do kind of refresh Relentless. That's good to know. It's good for grinding. Crack! Oh man, almost only took one of those. And she might have more, because the other one did. No, she only had the one. Wow. Okay, there was a Pokeball up here we can get to. Oh, it looks like you found something in the bush over there. Go check that out. Oh, you can even go back and battle the gym leaders again? Is that once per day in real life, Monkey? I wonder if people um, cheat the system and forward their time to do that. A golden pineapple berry. Nice. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, you started it, lady. 100%. And it is in real time, and not until you finish the story. Oh, okay, so you can't grind them out, because those give a lot of experience, I'm sure. A Magnemite. I don't know what is good against the Magnet type yet. I would assume Lightning is good. It looks very mechanical, but it's not effective, no. Luckily, we're a high level, so it doesn't do too much against us. Uh, let's try the Brick Break. This is a pretty powerful attack. That is effective. Okay. Uh, we'll see you soon, Droll. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> oh, I didn't see how much experience we got from that. I don't think anybody leveled up. I don't know if I've been over here. I'm on guard duty, and I take my duty very seriously. But gee, am I ever thirsty. I wish I had some tea to drink. Oh, hold on there, kid. I'm afraid I can't let you pass through here. Okay, so we need to find some tea, and then he'll let us go, huh? What was this? Is this where we came from? Underground path. Celadon City. I don't think we've been there yet, but I don't know if I need to go there. Should I be doing the tower first before I go that way? It seemed like it was important. That's where, like, the chat NPC is right now that we created. I think you're kind of waiting for us to do all that. If we look at our party, what is our lowest level character now? 26? Well, it's better. It's not great, but, uh, okay, so tower first. That's what I thought. Let's go try the tower with what we got now. We'll, uh, heal up, of course, first. So by the time you have access to a cave where Chauncey spawns regularly, it can be chain captured. You can get a Pokemon from 1 to 100 in no time. That's cool, because that single Pokemon just keeps spawning over and over. And I have no idea if I have a decent spread of characters. I feel like they all do something unique. But at the same time, um, I also believe that there's way more abilities than I could ever have equipped at one time. Oh, and Chauncey also gives a lot of experience. I'm looking forward to when we get there, but that's, you said, kind of near the end of the game. Okay, well, we took out that first trainer. Let's uh, go past there. Let's see if we can find what they were talking about. Oh, not this way. I have to go up and around. There we go. I think this is where we need to go. Oh, story time. Kubone! Kubone! Come out, come out, wherever you are! I don't see any sign of it. Is that a ghost? It's a, it's a g -g 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 ghost. It's like Scooby Doo. <laughs> That's great. Ghost, yeah. Get out. Be gone. 
Me, me. Now, that's not our Kubone, is it? That's the one that he was looking for, I think. Ah. Kubone sadly trudged down the stairs. He's looking for his mom, or he's sad about his mom. Should I be going down here to find that Kubone? Oh, looks like Pikachu needs to play. Q, like billiards Q? Okay, Q on. There we go. I feel like every single Pokemon name can be very much, uh, you know, thought of to be said multiple, multiple ways. But some, sometimes you see a name and you're like, oh, I know how that is, because they're all so unique. Practically any idea you can think of is like, oh, you can say it this way, you can say it that way. Oh, you can just shake it by itself to go right into their monkey. That's good to know. Thank you. Oh, like right now it's asking for it again. Oh, is it because she's scared? Andy looks frightened by the spooky atmosphere. Is she really scared or is she just, you know, trying to get some more love? Now, can I feed you something? I'm having a hard time getting it to aim over there. I lost my hand. Trying to feed you. There we go. There we go. Now we should be good. Oh, why recenters it? Oh, that's super easy. Okay, I'm like, where is my hand? <laughs> Even she sounded like a ghost. She was making some moaning sounds. Channeler Hope. Whoa, look at her face. What is wrong with her? Sent out a ghastly. I don't know what to do with this thing. We do have one of our Pokemon with a dark attack. Okay, what is that up there? It looks like it wants us to shake right now. Do a special attack. And a sure hit move. Pika Pow. That did the trick. Nice, Kubone leveled up too. And your partner can do once per battle effect? Oh, I didn't know I could do that every single battle. It seems like it's more powerful potentially than most of my other attacks. It's like, why not always start with that? Unless, of course, it's, you know, not effective against a certain type. Should probably try catch one of these. Oh, they disappeared. Out, be gone. Uh oh. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to catch one of those. Oh, they sent you back. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's try that again. Hmm. Looks like Andy has a present for you. The hell did you get that? A chalky stone. A small whitish stone picked up at the edge of the road. We're not even on a road. <laughs> Where did you find that? Oops. Hit Y. There we go. I don't know if I want to do that multiple times or how often you need to see that for it to be effective. Okay. Avoid the ghosts. They just kind of reset you. So I couldn't go up. Let's try going this way. Ah, crap. Oh, that's so sweet, Relentless. Have they always been doing that? I'm guessing since the beginning. The game's just so wholesome. <laughs> I love how crazy they look. Let's see if I have that ability this time. No, it didn't show up this time, but I bet we'll still kill it in one hit. It's only level 25. Oh yeah, hardly did any damage to us. Bam! Oh, will we not, Tajay? Is it going to get too tough? So far, it's only been level 25 stuff. I'm not sure 
how much higher it's going to get. Uh, let's keep battling. And ghosts are weak to ghost and dark. I do have one Pokemon with a dark attack. But I've never gotten a ghost attack. Is there Tajik? I tried doing that earlier and I couldn't find one. I, I could have sworn I looked in every house and I didn't find whatever item that woman was talking about. I was thinking maybe you find it inside the tower. Okay, well, you guys might as well just take me back to the beginning because I have to get out of here anyway. Okay, so let's explore the town a second time. See if we can find whatever that uh, item that we need was. I forget what they called it. This town is famous for all of the graves made here for Pokemon. They hold memorial services in the Pokemon Tower for Pokemon that have passed away. Do you believe in ghosts? I think I already told her no. Let's go ahead and say yes. Really? So there are believers. That didn't change much. Ah, the smell of incense is so refreshing. I remember talking to her. Be sure to name your Pokemon with love when you give them a new name. I don't do that. After all, nobody wants to have a silly name. Like they don't already have some silly names. I love it. Pretty sure we checked all these. Maybe it's somebody you have to talk to multiple times. I can't ever forgive Team Rocket. Right now we're taking care of Kubone, whose mother Morowak, which that's such a sad story, was caught by Team Rocket, and that was it. We never saw her again. And he wears the dead mom's skull. That's crazy. Oh, Team Rocket's here. This is new. What changed here? We came all the way to Lavender Town on the boss's orders, but where in the world is this old man Fuji supposed to be? The only place left is that spooky old Pokemon Tower, right? That's right. We couldn't get to the top because of that strange ghost getting in the way. Ah, I had to get attacked by a ghost for this to appear. Okay. That makes sense. Well, we couldn't find that old man, but at least we found this Kubo. Let's get it back to our hideout. At least we'll be able to find or have something to show for our trouble. Right, let's head to Rocket Game Corner in Celadon City. Ah, does this little Kubone want its mommy? Your mommy's in Celadon City. Come with us. We'll take you there. Mama! Aw, poor Kubone. You're already wearing your mom's skull. Where do you think you're going to find your mom? Now that's decided, I think we better blast off. Ah, I see. We want to come back here later. I thought we had to finish the tower and then go to the city. I, I just saw something awful. Hey, did you see? Team Rocket abducted that poor Kubone. It sounded like they were headed to Celadon City, but they must be planning on taking the skull bone it wears and selling it at a high price. What's funny is now we've already done most of this area. <laughs> I was just trying to grind for the tower, which I didn't really need to at that point. But now I can safely walk through this area. Yeah, just the first ghost. Monkey, that makes sense. Oh, do you like those characters, Relentless? Um, so this is the way to Celadon City. Am I saying that right? Keladon? Celadon? I hear there's been a sleeping Pokemon causing trouble out near Celadon City. It is Celadon. Okay, thank you. Is this like a loading screen? Oh, I should be watching um, Pikachu's tail, huh? Yeah, it kind of shows me where stuff is. It was shaking a second ago. Right here? Where is it? Oh, it stopped shaking. I could have sworn it was shaking right there. 
button? Yeah, it, like, stop shaking immediately. Oops. Didn't mean to click on you. Kubone is sniffing at the ground. Oh, I saw Kubone see something, too. Okay, the tail's shaking again. But as soon as I move... Oh, there we go. It seemed to, like, stop shaking. Okay, I saw the tail move again. Oh, right here. There we go. Nugget. And Jesse and James have been demolishing gender roles for decades. Oh, that's really cool. I love that. And the fact that they were like OG characters, right? So this is not like something new. It's been going on for quite a while. I love to see it, right? Do you go often? Oh, you know what I mean. To the department store at Celadon City? They sell all kinds of things. It's very handy. Here, I thought we were going to be battling her. Now, was the game first and then the anime? What's going on here? Oh, I think I moved the mouse. Andy is full of energy. All right, we'll give you some pets. It was game first. Okay, that's cool to see like a video game turn into a huge franchise like that. I want to find any new Pokemon too that we haven't caught yet. We got something to say. A small path between towns. Tehe, Route 7 is nice, right? Okay, you ready? Who is this? Is this another trainer? Now let's play an ensemble called the Battle. Oh, that's neat. So like the anime, but yeah, Coach Trainer fleshed out a lot of the story that they probably used in later games, huh? Far fetched. I've never seen this one before. <laughs> is he holding a green onion? Level twenty nine. That shouldn't be a problem. Blam! Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> or a leak. There we go. Nice. Level 33. Oh, I should use more of those candies. And on other characters as well. Forgot about that. Did you buy a leak today? <laughs> what are the odds? A wiggly tough. I'll keep this one out for now. I don't know what he's strong against, but this is always a good starter attack, if you don't know. Hmm, not super effective. Oh, but he's a higher level. Let's try our brick break. That was more effective. And we avoided an attack. Okay, this should finish it off. Oh, that's so cool. The leak turns into a sword and shield <laughs> when it evolves. That was a pretty good experience. It was a great session. And you made a pie with cheese and leek, and it was very good. Oh, like a savory pie versus a sweet pie. You know, we hardly ever have um, that kind of food. I, I love savory pies. That's awesome. And Timmy. Uh, how funny. That's just what Taj I said. That's awesome. Welcome to the stream, Timmy. Oh, never mind. I think it's a copy bot or something. At first I thought, oh, what, what are the chances? And then it happened twice. Like, no, I don't think so. Yeah, bye, Timmy. <laughs> nice knowing you. Oh, we made it to the city. Okay, sweet. And wouldn't you know, there's a hospital right here.
And you started your shiny hunt? Oh, good luck, monkey. Yeah, Taja, you, you, that was the right call. That was just a total waste of chat. Nice. Oh, that sounds really good, Relentless. My mom, she made something while I was down visiting. She calls pasties. And I forget where it originates from, but it's got, like, meat and, like, rutabagas and, like, carrots and all kinds of good stuff in there. I love them so much. What do you think you're doing around here? We're Team Rocket, don't you know? So we're trying to find where that Kubone was around here, aren't we? What's over this way? Is level 100 the max level in this game, I'm guessing? And do I know how to randomize this game? Wonking, I do not. This is actually my first time ever playing a Pokemon game, so I just want, like, the standard experience. Um, I'm guessing you'd have to emulate it to get a randomizer. Which, there are emulators that do Switch games pretty well. Huh, Pokemon? No, this is a hotel for people. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. And we're full up, unfortunately. I came here on vacation with my brother and my boyfriend. Just the three of us. <laughs> I think the brother might be a third wheel. Isn't Celadon a beautiful city? Oh, little brother. Still third wheel. Why? Why did she bring her brother along, too? That's what I was asking. Yippee, I'm on vacation. My sis brought me along. She's the best. Aw, well, he's, he's having a good time. Oh, and you made a cheesecake. Uh, like a standard cheesecake or any particular, like, flavor added to it? I love cheesecake. So good. What are you staring at? Get lost. Either you leave or I'll make you leave. Who would I take you guys out all the time? What are you going to do? There's a whole bunch of Team Rocket here. That game where the Pokemon fly through the sky is a huge hit. We're positively raking in the cash now. I feel like I'm on cloud nine. Maybe if we offered Pokemon as prizes to the top scorers, we could make even more money. Huh? What? I wasn't talking to you, kid. Don't touch the posters at the game corner. There's no secret switches behind any of them. That makes me think there's secret switches. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to t click on you. Boom, it's sniffing around the room. Yeah, baking's so interesting. Like, it, it, there's like a very art to baking, you know? If you don't time things just right, it, it totally ruins something. But when you do it perfectly, oh, it's amazing. And you forgot to put in, or to put in perspective how hard a shiny hunt can be. And Sword and Shield have like four boxes of Eevee. But what does that mean, four boxes of Eevee? Oh, Caramel Topping, that sounds so good. Oh, oh we already talked to that guy. So I gotta remember, check behind posters at the game shop. Hey, a new face, welcome. This place is always packed with regulars. Nom 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 nom. I'll eat all the curry they can carry. That sounds delicious. Yeesh. I played so much at the game corner that my hands are twitching. Games are way too much fun these days. When they say game corner, I wonder if they're talking about like pachinko or arcade games. They probably wouldn't put pachinko in a Pokemon game. Pachinko was so confusing while I was in Japan, but it was still fun. Hey, you, um, you know what I heard? It seems there's several floors hidden below the game corner. My Pokemon are weak, so I often buy medicines at the department store. <laughs> That's kind of sad. So each box holds 30 Pokemon, and they were hatched from eggs. And you had four of them? Grandma, I'm hungry. All right, let's go to the restaurant, shall we? <laughs> the one you're right next to? Celadon City takes pride in its efforts to keep itself clean and beautiful. The area around Game Corner is a different story, though. It gets a bit rough around there. Is this Game Corner right there? Aw, oh, I just lost at Game Corner. I guess the people who are good at the games there must be putting more effort than I do. 
Rocket Game Corner, a playground for grown-ups and kids alike. Oh yeah, they said something about behind the posters too. Oh yeah, this is like a classic Japanese arcade. However, it's very sad due to COVID and everything. I just heard that Sega got rid of all of their arcades and sold it to another company, which is so sad. Closing all that stuff down. There, come on. Almost got it. Ah, so close. Come on, Jesse. Why don't we head to the hideout now? Oh, come on. We've already handed over the Kubone to another Team Rocket member. What's the harm in taking a little break? How are we supposed to open the hidden entrance to the hideout anyway? We just need to check with the poster with a vehicle on it, remember? The poster with a vehicle that's the best to represent us. It's so funny. I love the highlighted words for clues. They definitely make it easier for you. Oh, you have better things to do, champ in the making. Oh, we've talked to him before. That's right. Teladon City gym is leader is Erica. She is the one with a nature and a user of grass type Pokemon. She might look quiet because she does flower arrangements, but she's not one to be taken lightly. I like the music here. It sounds familiar. Weird judge. How's it going? A hot air balloon? <laughs> Just like all the series, right? What do you mean hot air balloon? I sometimes see suspicious looking people in the game corner. I wonder what they're up to. Talking about the Team Rocket. My sweet Staryu. It likes to watch people playing games. Oh, this Pokemon over here. I haven't even seen that one yet. The game in which Pokemon fly in the sky. It's great, isn't it? If we could fly in real life, that would be much cooler than in the game, though. I love this Ryu looking dude. Games are great for improving your reflexes. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Ah, that must be the poster they were talking about. <laughs> Thank you, Relentless. It, it didn't sink in. Oh, Raticat. I think we could just take this out with Pikachu. Oh, that makes sense, Judge. That makes sense. That's their getaway vehicle when they get beaten up, I guess. Blam! Ooh, almost one hit. Oh, they actually did a bit of damage, too. There we go. Oh, is that one a trap, Judge? <laughs> it's a trap. I like that you get a little bit of um, health back every time you beat one of these battles. At this rate, the location of the Team Rocket hideout is going to be discovered. I better tell the boss. Hey, a switch behind this poster. Let's push it. <gasps> you heard a loud sound echo from somewhere on this floor. We've run out of game coins. Also, please don't touch the walls in the game corner without permission. Too late. Aha! Super secret entrance. <laughs> nice, Judge. Nice. <laughs> I love that. Relentless clearance level gun. Or in this case, clearance level violent Pokemon. Ah, we're in their hideout now. We're probably going to get caught by all these guys. You snuck into Team Rocket's operation? What nerve. So I know you get the experience for beating all these guys, but at the same time, you may want to avoid them just to keep your health and your items up. Yes, Judge, we actually got two shinies last stream. It was crazy. Um, yeah, this is a flyer, so I think this will take it out real quick. You have to get a 31 times chain monkey? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Screw that. I actually thought I could only pet Pikachu. Can I pick or pet all of the Pokemon? Yeah, we could definitely do that. I'm guessing, how do I do that? Do I have to bring it to the, um, the first one? Oh, you can only pet Pikachu in this one. Okay. I was going to say, if I go to party and I try to do something to Kubone, I know I can make it like the, the number one Pokemon, but yeah, I might not be able to pet it. I'm guessing you can also just pet Eevee 
in the other one, right? Coffee now. Welcome back, Coffee. How you doing, dude? Oh, Pokeball. Yoink. Five Ultra Balls. Now, the Ultra Balls don't do much extra beyond look different, right? I think it was only the Giant Balls you guys said had better chance of catching them. Yeah, if you time it just right, you can just walk right by these guys. Mighty candies. You know, we should probably do that. I forgot about the candies. I'm like purposely weakening my characters by not feeding them candy, which is a terrible idea for kids. Um, so mighty increases attack. Let's go ahead and increase our kuboning bit. I think Kubone is one we're going to keep for a long time. I don't know if any of these other ones are ones I'm sure I'm going to keep, so I want to spend a bunch on it. Oh, are Ultra even better? So the Great Ball and then Ultra Ball for catching. Okay, so never mind. I, I misunderstood earlier. Okay, tough increases defense, speed. We have a lot of speed ones, which is nice. Let's give some of this to Andy, because I usually start off the battles as Andy. He actually already has a lot of speed. Let's get her to 120. And then let's do a few on Kubone. Cubone, sorry. I guess I do want to save some of my candy until I know I have my permanent Pokemon in my group that I want to keep there. And Golbat always reminds you of how uh, the Pokemon games like to give the main villains a Golbat that turns into Crobat, an evolution that requires high friendship, to imply the bad guys aren't beyond redemption. Oh, that's kind of cute that they're actually nice to their Pokemon, at least. There's that. Oh, is Master Ball even better, Judge? I haven't seen one of those yet. Okay, this guy's not turning, so you can't really avoid him. Oh, it's a 100% chance, the Master Ball. But it, they're hard to get. I heard that you can see ghosts with the self scope. That's what we're trying to get. That way we can get to the tower, I'm guessing. Hypno. I've never seen this guy before. I don't know what's good against him, so I usually default to shocking the hell out of him. Hmm, it was okay. Not great. Let's also try this one. Not very effective. Okay, the shock was better. Oh no, you put us to sleep. I always have to swap out when I fall asleep, I think. Oh, sweet. She woke herself up. Nice. This might finish it off, but real close. Oh, we got it, nice. Is that Hypno's thing? He just puts you to sleep and then he can slowly pick away at you. And your bite squad driver is having a great adventure. <laughs> Do you have a whole bunch of like physical biting Pokemon Phantasma? And some villains, on the other hand, have stuff like Pokemon that use moves that work better if your Pokemon doesn't like you. And you love the storytelling through details like that. Very meta. It's like they take the game mechanics and use that to help tell the story. That's really cute. I like that. Oh, crap. Okay, so these things move me until I run into one of these. Is that right? Be a little bit of a puzzle. It looks like that took me where I need to go, so we can get this Pokeball up here. Nugget! She's delivering your food and going everywhere but my house. Oh! <laughs> I Bite Squad, I never heard of that. That must be like Uber Eats or something, is that right? So I can go back here and then go down. 
awakening. We, those are really useful, actually. Okay, this is going to end me up right above that Pokeball, I think. It's going to be this. I'm curious, what did you order, Phantasma? I've actually never used one of those services. I've gotten, like, coupons and stuff for them. I have to try it sometime. I actually think I have a gift card, but still just never used them. Okay, let's see where this takes us. It's starting to get hard to follow. Down here. Let's try this way. Ooh, I see another Pokeball there. Oh, some soup. Very nice. Is it cold where you're at right now? I love to have soup on a cold day. Consequently, I don't usually like soup when it's hot, but there's some cold soups that are really good, too. Okay, I can't go back that way. We're going to have to go this way. Oh, they're trying to multitask and ends up making all your orders slower, huh? Which sucks, because especially you want soup, you know, delivered hot, assuming you're getting a hot soup. And that really sucks, because... And you're just waiting, you know, your food's cooling down. Okay, we want to go to this one. So we can go down, I think. How have we not thrown up yet? It doesn't appear to work without a key. Okay, we'll have to come back to that. Hmm. Try to avoid these guys. Get all the items. Oh, it's already 15 minutes late. At what point do you get any kind of like credit back or something? I don't know how that works. Nice, five great balls. I think that's everything here. Go back down. Oh, 100%. I mean, that's all the only thing you really have to do, Phantasma, is the only recourse is to, you know, not tip as much, unfortunately. I think we're going down more. This one doesn't move, so we'll have to fight her. Look who finally showed up, huh? We got word from upstairs that you were coming. Now, when you say rare Pokemon, are those the, um, just get, to get the shiny, that's what the shiny drive is, just to get that combo real high? <laughs> I mean, that could be a thing, Phantasma, although you should be able to see where they are, I suppose, with GPS and whatnot. But yeah, I mean, that's happened before where I've had something delivered and it went to the wrong house or it took extra long because they couldn't find my house. Yeah, Judge. I mean, it did shake everything. Hopefully they have cameras. Maybe they know we're in there because of that. What? I lost? No, you didn't even stand a chance, lady. You had no hope. You know, we've gotten a few of these TMs I have not tried to equip yet. We should probably check out to see what we got. And you... Yui Hayakuya, long time no see. How are you doing? What's new? <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I was about to reorder those things. And the TMs are infinite uses, that's true. But I think I've gotten some new ones I just haven't even looked at yet. Like Dark Pulse? How much damage is this? 80 damage? 100 accuracy? Like, this seems pretty cool. Also makes flinch. And what about rest? That puts you to sleep. That's a good one, too. You just can't install a Chinese game. What are you trying to install, uh, Yui? Hmm. I think I might do this Dark Pulse. And give it to... Oh, Andy can't learn it. Never mind. I don't have anybody that can learn that one. 
I could give her rest. Assad is pretty good. I think I'll keep with what we got right now. But it's good to check that every once in a while. Yeah, not even Golbat had it, I don't think. Let me double check real quick. Dark Pulse. Yeah, it also says he can't use it. I guess he can't see because it's unblocking it, but Golbat also cannot learn that. I don't have a dark Pokemon yet. Oh, more of these things. All right. Let's get the Pokeball first. Eat. Put a lot of items in this area. This is kind of, I guess, Pokemon's dungeon system. The caves and this kind of thing. We can go back and get this one. They could make these terrible, but so far they've been pretty fun. They haven't been too confusing. Yeah, I want to reach over there, so this will work. We can get this one. But now I'm going to have to go back up and around to get to the other side. Okay. I think I need to go this way. There we go. It could be real tricky, Relentless, if it doesn't show you the entire map. Like, if there's stuff off screen, you just have to guess. And probably go in the wrong direction on accident. Oh, I bet that's probably too true, Weird Judge. It kind of a... Um, I guess a quality of experience improvement is to zoom it out a little bit so you can see more of the maze. Because if it just shrunk the screen a little bit, that could be really difficult. As it was, I didn't have too much of a problem. Blam! I love these one-shot maze. Do we have items that can increase our uh, power uses again? I haven't looked at that yet. I, I think I might need that in this dungeon. Okay, a Volt Orb. I think we want to switch to Kubone for this guy. And a PP. We found one in this dungeon. Um... Oh, that's what you use. That makes sense. Yeah, that's what they actually call that, right? Like, kind of like your mana or something. This will probably kill it in like one hit. Crack! Oh, almost. Luckily, it hits twice. You got any more? Or was that it? Once it says your Pokemon in waiting have gotten experience, you know you're done. Yeah, let me double check that real quick. In my bag, under medicine, I think. I don't actually have any of those. We have ethers. What does ether do? Oh, it restores 10 PP to a single selected Pokemon. So that gives them 10 to all their abilities. Is that right? I don't have very many of those, actually. I'll hold on to it for now. But I could see us using it later. I'm confused. Oh, we super potions. I was going to say, I thought we had a lot of potions. I'm going to go ahead and use one Andy. So not all, but only one. So ethers, it's pretty expensive, actually. Like, you have to have quite a few of them. I should have bought a bunch when we were in town. And Relentless, you love how Team Rocket is like, we're so big and bad, and their guards have like two Pokemon, and one of them is Rattata. <laughs> that was one of my starting Pokemons I used a lot, was Rattata. But yeah, they're not too threatening. Not yet, anyway. Sweet, give me some more Ethers. That's what we really need. I only have three. 
Four PP up, that's good too. <laughs> Just everybody gets one monkey? That's funny. Ah, oh, you're guarding one. Huh? What's that? You say the elevator doesn't work. Of course not. I've been keeping the lift key safe this whole time. Until I beat you down, and then I'll take your key. Thank you very much. A Grimer. What is that guy? Oh, cool. I've never seen this one before. Without knowing what you're weak against, always start off with this. It's got super high accuracy and does decent damage. <laughs> okay, that was easy. And if you run out of moves, you get struggle. Wait, it, if your Pokemon completely runs out of moves, it gives you an ability called struggle to use? Ah, how am I supposed to keep you from getting this lift key? Guess I'll have to use my own kind of struggle. Oh, this is what you were talking about, Yui. I hope my boss doesn't hear about this. Did he just throw the key up there? Ah, phew. Without that key, there's no way you'll make it to the boss. If you think you can get it back from up there, then I'd sure like to see you try. As he watches me just climb up there and get it. Okay, so that was was on the table earlier, was the key. Okay. So, looks like we're going up this way, right? There's no way you're getting that lift key now. Not unless you know some way to walk on top of walls or something. Like, that would happen. That Pokemon of yours looks pretty nimble, I gotta say. <laughs> hey, and there's a vent. Hmm, let's go check this out. If there were a step stool or something, maybe it would be possible to reach the top from here. Look around and see if you can find something that you can climb on. Trash can? Inside this? There's nothing inside. How about this chair? This chair could probably be used as a step. That's super dangerous, because if you step on that and try to move, it's likely to just fall out from under you because of the wheels. Up you go! No, seems to be working. That's good. Yeah, that's... Never stand on a chair with wheels. Now's the time for your partner to shine. Get the key from that team that the team rocket grunt through. True, you can sometimes lock the wheels, which is useful. But if you have a static chair, that's still way better. Okay, we gotta find our way around this maze. I don't know if I can lock the wheels on my chair currently. I might be able to. <laughs> Yui just wrap them up. That would work. Okay, we can't cross that beam. Is this a dead end? Oh, here we go. I just had to use it. I hope that Team Rocket guy just watched us do this whole thing. He gave me the clue. And he got the lift key. Did you hear something just now? I did. There was definitely a noise. Could it be an intruder? <laughs> Never mind. It must have been Meow's hungry tummy. Don't get me all worried over nothing. Nice, and we can just drop down. That's good. Oh, your soup finally came, Phantasma. Nice, good. It wasn't too far off. It wasn't too far off. What kind of soup was it? <gasps> Catch combo of 31. Oh, did you get the shiny monkey? Congratulations, dude. Okay, I think it was this way. <laughs> I know, it's a little bit loud, isn't it, Yui? Um... Yeah, I think it was back this way was the lift, if I remember right. And then up here, right? And then it wasn't far from here was the lift, I thought. 
Maybe I'm getting all mixed up now. I didn't think it was this far back. Maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, now I don't know where the hell I am. <laughs> ah, crap. Oh, now you got to the highest odds. Cool. Fingers crossed you get one soon, monkey. Okay, I think I need to go back where I came from and go through one of those mazes. This guy wasn't too tough. He's probably a poison type. <laughs> sure looks like it. Blam! One shot. <laughs> That's exactly how it worked. <laughs> I love that Relentless. So what game are you installing, Yui? Uh, I'll keep battling. We can take out this other one. I might have to use one of those uh, ethers, though. I am starting to run low on my Thunderbolt. Oh, sorry, I missed that earlier, Yui. Juan, is that Juan? Yan? I could not pronounce that to save my life. What kind of game is that, though? Hey, we leveled up. Keep battling. Let's keep this rolling. Gosh, how many Pokemon do you have, dude? And why are they all like starters? Oh, is that like an RPG? Like turn-based, I'm guessing? Oh, you don't even know what kind of game it is, Yui. You're just downloading it? <laughs> even though it was a lot of battles, we got a decent amount of experience from that. Okay, so I think I need to go back down one or two levels. Or was it through this maze? Forgotten which maze it was actually in. Yeah, especially when you're watching trailers and stuff, you can't always trust what they're trying to advertise to you. Sometimes trailers can be very misleading, especially with movies, which kind of sucks. That often gives you a negative reaction to a movie if it's nothing like the trailer, because they kind of misadvertised it. Here it is. Okay, good. Nice. Yes, I was asking. Um, a lentil soup and a bread bowl. Oh, I love bread bowl soups. That's so good. Okay, where are we right now? Are we here? Guess not. Yeah, I haven't been on this side yet. And you have no idea why, but you just got a Manfi? And a th and three Fion. Are are you in the uh, the new Legends game, Tajay, right now? Are you lost, little child? <laughs> I love that graphic with the R that goes down. It just kind of reminds me of like an old VHS special effect or something. It seems old school. Uh, these flyers they get killed very quickly by Pikachu. Right. I saw an icon that had like two little heads on the right hand side of the screen. I wonder if that means that this guy has two Pokemon. Is that a good thing or a bad thing getting that, Tajay? I'll keep battling with this one. We took this out pretty quickly, but I think I used Brick Break? No, never mind. I guess that doesn't do anything. I was mistaken. Let's go back to this. I'm almost out of this, actually. Oh, no. Oh, good. We dodged their attack. It just works for everything except for ground enemies. Nice, Kubone leveled up. And they are mythical, so it's a good thing. Oh, nice. You're just confused as why there were three of them. Just 
take it and run. <laughs> Don't question it. Oh, and February 10th is a survival game? What which game is it, Yui? I like those survival games. <gasps> Our shiny Cubone just uh, evolved. Is it going to be even more metal than before? Whoa, it looks like it's no longer wearing the skull of its mother. It has become the skull of its mother. So Marowak, nice. And it wants to learn a new move, Sword Dance. Sure, let's see what that is. A sword Dance, you get 20 of them. And it, a frantic dance that uplifts the fighting spirit, sharply raises the user's attack stat. That sounds like it's pretty good. Maybe I should replace that with Rage? Rage only does 20 damage. As long as this move is in use, the power of Rage raises the attack stat each time the user is hit in battle. I think maybe swap this with that move. I feel like this is probably more rare and more powerful. How much does Headbutt do? Headbutt's not bad. <laughs> you know, Taji, most of that is Greek to me because I just haven't had enough experience. <laughs> so I couldn't say. Hmm. What's the name of the game, Yui? I might have heard of it before. Maybe you've even played it. And just take it and run, don't question it, is what you told your sister when a trap didn't activate. You just got lucky, Relentless. Just go with it. <laughs> if you keep dinking around that area, the trap might go off. Yeah, I think I want to switch this one. Oh, Windbound. Thank you, Yui. Sorry. Um, I've never heard of that one. I'm not sure what that is. They have a lot of really good free games on Epic, though. I don't know how long they're going to be giving away a game every two weeks. I feel like I already have like 150 games on my Epic account, and I've only ever bought one or two. At some point, they're just going to realize we're losing too much money with this. This is ridiculous. Uh-oh, that ruckus, a ruckus somehow opened the door. We haven't been in here before. Oh, thank you for that description. Um, and is this a multiplayer game as well? Sounds pretty cool. I mean, it sounds like a lot of games I've played, but I do like survival games like that. Have we been here before? Oh, look how huge Cubone is now. He's looking absolutely massive. Yeah, I feel like I've been here before. I think what we just did is we opened up a shortcut. That's what we really did. Oh, only single player? See, I, I think as much as I do enjoy some of those survival games, I, I kind of prefer them to be multiplayer. It kind of helps with some of the tedium of just kind of kind of getting a grind of doing the same thing over and over, but when you do it with friends, it's a lot of fun. Partly why I enjoyed um, Valheim so much. Forced is cool, too. I do want to play that again. I want to play it in VR more, actually. I did play it quite a bit with my wife and some friends, but we didn't finish it. You, you're that twerp from Mount Moon. Just how long are you going to follow us around? I know I'm beautiful, but what do you want? <laughs> to rescue Cubone. What? That Cubone? Ha, we already gave the poor thing to the boss. It doesn't matter. There's no way we're letting you through to see the boss. It's payback time for those fossils from Mount Moon, you brat. Oh crap, I should have used a um, ether on Pikachu before we started this. I think you can, Yui, I think you can play VR with somebody that's not in VR. I only ever tried it single player, but I'm pretty sure it would work. Oh, that's right, I get to bring out two people at once. Um, one of them is higher level, and one of them is lower level. So for Pikachu, I think we should Thunderbolt the Flyer. And let's have Cubone do this on the snake. I'm not sure what the snake is weak against. It's a poison type. Oh, 
Actually, I should have had them attack the same one. Oof. Oh yeah, that was good. That's gonna be a instant kill. Nice. <laughs> Bone them to death. <laughs> Giggity. It's interesting that this game will um, essentially give you experience and level up in the middle of battle. Oftentimes you have to wait until the end of a game to do something like that. Oops, I clicked on the wrong Pokemon. Well, it should pick the right one, I hope. Maybe I don't even have to worry about that. Nice, Ivysaur leveled up. Such a dreadful twerp. But I was so confident this time. And you loved how that worked out in Sword and Shield for the first fight? Oh, um... How what worked out when you battled these guys? I haven't tried Sword and Shield yet. Hm. How infuriating. Don't let it get to your head just because your Pokemon were a teeny tiny bit stronger. Exactly. And even if you did defeat us in battle, we're still bigger and stronger than you. We'll just use our brute force to... Yeah, I don't think you will. <laughs> Eek. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. You mean running with your tail between your legs? Pikachu demands love. Andy looks completely exasperated. What is that thing it said below? I never tried this. Uh, secret techniques? Seems it can't be used here. Oh! Those are the abilities we've been learning along the way. That's right. Oh, they mean blasting off into space? <laughs> but they didn't do that. They just ran away like a chicken. Here it must be the boss. There's their Cubone. Just look at this one Sylph scope, and it's plain to see. Sylph Co. definitely has the technology and skill Team Rocket will need to make our wishes come true. Hmm. A machine that lets you see what otherwise cannot be seen? It's nothing but a useless toy. Still, this could do. Carry on, Archer, with your plans to take over Sylph Co. for Team Rocket. Yes, sir. What is a child doing here? You listen in on a conversation without saying a word? I don't much care for that. I am Archer, an admin of Team Rocket, and I do not go easy even on children. <laughs> so with the experience med battle, oh, that also happened in the Sword and Shield, I see. And it was scripted, but your friend has two Pokemon, a simple normal one you beat, then you level up, and you get an elemental attack that is super effective against the opposing friend's Pokemon. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's a good teaching tool as well. A Weezing, what is that? Oh, it's like a bigger version of that other one we just bought. I'm not sure what is actually strong against this. I actually don't have any more Thunderbolt. So let's try this out. Bam! Not effective. Oh, we gotta get out of here. I don't know what is strong against poison. I'm gonna bring this out. Oh, and ground? Okay, perfect. This is the one we want then, even though it's lower level. This could be could be tricky. Sludge Bomb. We're already hurt a little bit. Ouch! I did a lot of damage and it wasn't effective. Um, but this will probably do a crap ton of damage. And you got to do a flamethrower? Please don't kill me in one turn. Shoot. Okay, yeah, this could be real bad. So I think now I have to switch over to just using my Pokemon to heal my other Pokemon. I bet... Oh, I, crap. I bet this guy's weak against poison, huh? That's all right. Your sacrifice. Just to bring back Marowak. And hopefully heal someone, too. 
but I have a feeling this is going to be a one-hit kill. Blam! Oop, not quite. Good. That gives me a chance to heal, too. An IV sword. Oh, it is poison type. Never mind. I thought it was grass type for some reason. Uh, let's use a super potion on Andy first. And then I'll also see if I can do one on the other one. Oh, it's both types. Okay. Okay, we're going to bring back out Andy. Oh, wait, but I don't have um, my lightning yet. Never mind. We'll bring out this one and see if we can heal up Marowak. Super Potion. Marowak. Hope I'm saying that right. We have a normal and a fighting move, I think. And I tried the fighting move and it was weak against it. Oof, that was painful. Let's try a dark move. Just for the hell of it. I don't know if that will do anything, but I haven't actually seen this move yet. Never mind. I won't do anything. <laughs> nice, perfect, relentless. <laughs> That's all right. You're a sacrifice. <laughs> this poor Pokemon. Okay, let's bring this guy back out. Still working on it, Monkey 50. Well, what's your guess? How many do you think it'll take to get that shiny? 100? 200? I need to increase this guy's um, speed a little bit more. Last time I think I went second. Yeah, he's got high speed rating. Blam! This is good. This is good. Almost finished him. Let's try Dig, see if I can avoid that next attack. Nope. He was too fast for me. Oof. We have 146 Great Balls. I bet you'll get that shiny. Monkey, I bet you'll get it with that. Nice. Hopefully he doesn't have a second Pokemon, because that was tough. Nope, he's about to send out a gold bat. However, I don't have any um, electricity with Pikachu, so I'm going to try to use an item to bring that back and then switch over. Because obviously the ground type isn't good against flying. Okay, is it Ether that I want to use? That restores 10 PP. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so use this on Andy and restore Thunderbolt. Nice. And we're probably dead. No! And you can see how many Pokemon they have at the top of their name. Oh, I, th I thought I saw something like that. But it looked like it was like a little, like, like two pictures. Like a picture with like two heads on there. It was like right below their name. See, it's there right now. I thought maybe that means the same thing. Okay, this will probably kill it in one hit. It is pretty high level though. Maybe not quite. Oof. And we have lower defenses. Crap. I see. So when they're red, they're alive. And if they're gray, those Pokeballs in the corner, then they've already fainted, right? Gotcha. They were worth a lot of experience. Oh, nice. Now, do we also have to fight against the boss? Because, man, I don't know if I can handle another battle right now. Forgive me, Giovanni. For me to be defeated by a simple child. Crap, here he comes. I'll just grab you. 
Mama, oh poor little guy. Oh, I could have used items before this. So, you defeated Archer. I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. And I am the leader of this enterprise, Giovanni. Aww. What? You want me to release the Kubone? <laughs> you came barging into our hideout just for that. What an amusing child. But for your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Yeah, I definitely should have used some items before this. <laughs> He's clearly using ventriloquism. Oh, and I could have saved too. I always forget you can save everywhere in this game. Man, I've never seen this thing before. Level 35? Crap. Um, let's try it. Oh no, and we flinched. Oh good, that was pretty dang effective. Oh goodness, we almost got knocked out. Okay, let's use a full heal right now. I think I have one. Yeah, we have one of these. Let's go ahead and use it. No effect. That Oh, full heal's different. That's right. It's not what it says. It's like a cure. I forgot about that. Oh, crap. Um... Okay, let's bring out this guy. This is going to be very bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot this was our other shiny, huh? Okay, revive. Andy. <laughs> yeah, at least she wasn't poisoned or something when she went down. And then I'm also going to use the Super Potion on Andy. Can you survive another hit? Nope, you cannot. Sorry, Golbat. Dang, this is going to be tough. He also has two Pokemon. So after we take this one out right now, I don't know what we're getting next. Okay, we're at full health. That's good. A Rhyhorn. No, I think we could take that one out. That would have been so sad if he fought with that Cubone he's holding hostage. Oh, this guy. Crap. Um... We don't want to use Thunderbolt against it. It would be nice to have our grass one alive or water one alive. Maybe we'll do that. Let's um, use a revive on War Turtle. Actually, no. Let's bring back Marowak because that one's good against it too. Nice. We avoided an attack. Let's also use a heal. Not a full heal. <laughs> Luckily, oh, it didn't actually use my full heal. That's interesting. I assumed I would have wasted it, even though I had no, nothing to heal, I guess. Yeah, your guys' ability to, oh my lord. Okay, time to run. Time to run. Luckily we, Brought him back to full health. Okay, hopefully we can take it out real quick with our boomerang thing. Ooh. Come on. Did it just avoid it and kill me? Yeah, it did. 
That was fair. That was fun. Crap, I'm about to lose a lot of progress. Um, all right then. Chameleon, you're just going to try to heal Pikachu. <laughs> this is bad. Because apparently Cubone was not super effective against this guy. Oh wait, that's good. Um, and he's not actually dead yet. Yeah, I probably should have sacrificed Pikachu. I just keep jumping around and healing a, a different one, but nothing's really going to work out for me here. I guess right now, it might be best for me to try to bring back Cubone again. Probably should have just healed him to begin with. Because Andy's going to be weak against every attack. Dang it. <laughs> and you can't run away in the middle of these battles, can you? Yeah, this is game over, unfortunately. I would probably be best off healing right now. Now I just hope that we use our natural resistance against this to like not get killed immediately. Son of a... Like I could just keep healing myself until they miss me once and then try to do an attack? I don't know. I could also hope that we dig and avoid attacks. Maybe that's best. I think we're dead either way. As long as I'm always faster than it, it won't be able to hit me, right? Nope, we're dead. <laughs> Unless we resist it. Nope. True, we would eventually run out, but we definitely kill it before that happens. Well, crap. I don't know how far that puts us back. We never save. I kind of forget about that. So it takes you back here. This is the first time we've ever actually lost. And then what, what do you actually lose? Do you lose all your progress up to that point or does it just roll you back but you still have your levels, experience, items, all that kind of stuff? If I look at these guys, just time and money, well, that's not too bad. At least you don't lose progress up to that point. So I think I need to go buy some more ethers because I didn't have hardly any of those. And then we'll go try that again. Well, it was bound to happen at some point. Oh, does it take 50% of your money? That's a lot of money. Um, I don't know how much I have. I have 70,000 now. Did I have 140? That's the case. That's how rude. Here's, is this the shop? I think that's a shop. Maybe it is. Looks really big for a shop. What is this place? Department store. Please check the board in the back for the store directory. Man, I just want to buy healing items. Service counter, trainer's market. Okay, so we want to go to the second floor. This is one thing I did notice in Japan a lot. A lot of their shopping buildings were small, but very tall. So you'd have to go up, you know, five, six, eight floors to find the place you were looking for. I am here to buy for sure. Uh, what, what are these? Why is it so expensive? What is this? Dragon's Tail? Oh, you can buy new attacks. That's kind of cool. I didn't know you could just purchase these things. Yeah. 
Okay, well, that's not what I'm trying to do right now, but I just want to buy regular items. Is that you? There we go. Okay, ethers. Ethers. They don't sell ethers. Dang it. Is there another type of item that does that? We have super potions. We got plenty of those great balls. I might need some more revives, honestly. And they are expensive because you can use them over uh, in a few of the, the best moves in the game. That makes sense. Yeah, as long as your Pokemon can equip them, why not give them these good items? Dang it. No, I actually can't get any ethers here. You cannot help me, sir. I wonder if there's a different shop you can buy ethers from. Or you just have to get lucky collecting them in the wild. Okay, let's go try that again. This time with more healing before big battles. <laughs> that sucked. I went into that with basically two Pokemon. And of course, they were both underleveled compared to what I was going up against. I think it's this building. There we go. Now, is that a Snorlax I just saw in the corner there? I wonder, can we go straight to the elevator? I should still have the key. And this could go pretty quick. Hey, they didn't stop me. That's cool. I think it was down here. I guess there's an elevator on every floor, though, huh? Yeah, I think I took this way. See if I remember the path. This one's not too bad. It's not there. No, this is a dead end. This isn't where I wanted to go at all. <laughs> Dang it. I think maybe I did want to do it on that floor right above me. I like the music here. It's very intense. Kind of stressful. Yeah, so I think it's... We have to get through this maze. So, is there like a favorite overall attack you have in this game, Tajay? It's like when you're playing it, you know you want to get this thing because you're just going to wreck everybody with it. I think the elevator is right here. Yeah, that would be cool to finish this up and then go to the tower and finish that as well if we can this stream. Good, I don't have to fight him again. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save it here. So if I save it, does it put me exactly in the spot when I load it? Sometimes when you save games, it's not really like saving it at your exact spot. It's more of a checkpoint system. You like Hyper Voice and Leaf Blade. I think I saw Leaf Blade used against me, Monkey. I haven't actually um, found it myself yet. And you like Splash, Weird Judge? Because you never have to use it to hurt another Pokemon. I don't understand. How come? Is, is it not an attack? And Kamashita! How's it going, dude? It's good to see you, man. But we can kind of skip this dialogue because we just read all this. should go so much better this time. So the first one, we'll use Pikachu. The second one, hopefully Cubone can take care of it. And what you've been playing lately, Kamashita? Are you playing that new uh, Pokemon Legends game? And I think I was told that this guy is weak against um, fighting style, which would be this one. Let's try it out. 
Ah, he did that last time. Bam! That worked out pretty well, yeah. I don't know if it was better than our blast, though, because the blast just might do more damage. There we go. Oh, not quite. Oh, he got a critical, jerk. So Splash is the move of Magikarp, and it basically lets your Magikarp splash around and that's it. No water in the air afterwards, no damage on. Yeah, I've heard that that Magikarp is kind of a useless Pokemon, kind of a joke, I guess. Um, might as well switch to him because we need him for the next round anyway. Anybody can finish this guy off. Magikarp is useless, that's so funny. These all have speed? They don't. Speed is just your main character, right? Bam! Okay, I'm hoping we don't get one hit killed with this guy. Hey, you got a level too. We're going to keep battling. And Magikarp learns Flail, and then it's only 99% useless. That's so funny. I bet people have probably beaten the game with a high-level Magikarp, or is that even possible? Um, do I do Dig or Bone Meringue? I think I'm just going to go for pure damage. Crack! Get it halfway killed with one hit. They did try, but it wasn't possible. Come on, survive. Ooh, just barely. Okay, what do I do? A full heal or try to finish him off? If I can do this attack, he's dead. So let's just do that. Nice. I'll take it. Oh, you get to a point where you just can't do damage. That makes sense. What? This can't be. Got a lot of money. That's nice. So I too am defeated by a child. Do you wish, or do as you wish with that cubo? And take this as my apology for mocking you as a child. There we go. That's kind of nice of him, actually. Did you get the shiny? Good job, monkey. That actually didn't take as long as I expected. I can see you raise Pokemon with utmost care, but you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. But I hope we will meet and battle again. And Yui, any Pokemon with haste nature is speed inclined, so they usually get to go first. Where are you going? We just rescued you. Oh, he went back to town. <laughs> you could have just done that any time. Maybe with the Sylph Scope, you'll be able to go back and identify that ghost. Alright, what's the quickest way out of here? I'm back to Lavender Town. How is it going, Joe? Welcome to the stream. I think we want to go to the first floor. Have you uh, already played through this Pokemon game? This is my first time ever playing a Pokemon game. I think this is the exit. But we want to go up instead of down. Hey, there we go. Okay, so let's um go to the Poco Center and heal up first, and then we'll get out of here. Which I think was kind of towards the entrance. This way? Here it is. I haven't really learned my way around this town too well yet. And we also gained some more levels on this little adventure, so hopefully we're strong enough to do that Pokemon Tower now.
That new Pokemon that um, Cubone evolved into, he's pretty big. Like, he's the size of me, practically. And talk to the person next to the balloons? Yeah, I think the arcade was over here. Yeah, I didn't fully explore the whole town. Oops, I think the arcade was down. Here it is. This guy? Oh, you're curious, aren't you? You're curious about me and this machine. You want to know the details? Sure. Okay, if you insist, this machine is a great vehicle that allows you to fly in the sky. It's a marvelous invention, if I do say so myself. It's not an exaggeration to say that this is a secret technique. Even though I worked really hard on this, nobody wants to try it. You seem to be a courageous young boy. I'll tell you how to use this, or how to ride this machine, the secret technique Sky Dash. Oh, that Pikachu wants to fly my invention instead of you? I don't get to learn anything. Pikachu takes all the glory. <laughs> Great, it matches my inspiration perfectly. All right, let's get right to it. Do this and that, hold this handle, and pull. Then that will be like that. And with these balloons, you're in the air. Oh, is this like how you do like fast travel? Andy learned the secret technique Sky Dash. Use the secret technique and you can fly to a town you've been to. Nice! Oh, thank you, monkey. That's definitely going to save me time. Sweet. And Alolan Raichu or normal Raichu? I, I've never even seen a Raichu. Uh, Yui, I couldn't say. I couldn't say. And Joey Shanner? I might be butchering that. Shaner, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for that follow. You can have this machine, so be sure to enjoy many trips throughout the sky. What a nice dude. He creates this machine that took him a lot of time, and then just like, ah, I just give it away to this stranger I've never met before. Okay, so how do I use it? Do I go to party, Andy? No, not there. Is it in my bag? It's like a power. No, it's not there. Or no, I think I'd do this. And when we bring Andy out. Oh, Andy has a vacant look on its face. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. There we go. And there should be a person in the Poké Center that we want to talk to as well. Oh, I missed another one. And did you not do this already? Beating Team Rocket in the city and learning the secret technique? I think it's just me. No, we just beat like the main boss in this, in their hideout, Electro. And you can get a pure electric or electric psychic. Is that who I want? Is that why I want to go to the Poké Center? Oh, that's what Raichu is. Is that what you mean? So we go to secret techniques there. But you said there's someone in the Poké Center I want to talk to. Oh, you're not talking to me. My bad. <laughs> Never mind. There we go. So secret techniques, Sky Dash. There we go. So we want to go to Lavender Town. This has Pokemon Tower. I feel like we've actually explored the majority of the map. <laughs> Boom. Nice. Okay, let's check out the tower. Did I heal my Pokemon? I'm not sure. So, that Cubone's mom? That's right. Team Rocket keeps going after Marowak so it can sell those skulls they wear for profit. I think Cubone is still looking for its mother, even though she's gone. I just can't forgive that Team Rocket. Me either. I saw Cubone head to that little uh, tower a little while ago. I'll look for it, and I'll keep an eye out for that mi Mr. Fuji, too, the one who's been missing. Thank you, and be careful. Um, okay, now I'm getting it, because... The Marowak has a larger skull, that's the mom, who when it passed away, the little one, Cubone, was wearing that bigger skull. I really don't like ghosts, but I gotta do this. Let me just verify my party's healed up. Oh yeah, we're good. Ah, Junkadia, nice timing. You caught most of that, right? What'd you say? You wanna come with me? Sure, I'll help you out since you're scared of ghosts. 
Thanks, pal. That's a big relief to have you. And I'll just let you lead the way, okay? <laughs> I like that. You first. You go to the ghosts. Okay, I can probably skip all this and get back to where we were. Oh, no, we gotta go up, I think. Okay, so if these guys touch you, they take you back to the beginning. I wonder how I use those psychic goggles or whatever they were. Uh, do you think there's really going to be ghosts in here? Huh? Junkadia, what's that? The sylph scope revealed a ghost's true form. Oh, there we go. We use it automatically. Ah, oh, you can see what kind of Pokemon they are. Okay. Whoa, that's crazy. So those ghosts were actually Pokemon? Kind of sad. <laughs> Just a bunch of different dead Pokemon in here. Oh, it's trying to get that ball. Oh, yeah, monkey. I think somebody mentioned that earlier, huh? A ghastly. We can kill these guys in one electric shock, I think. Especially because we all have like nine levels on this guy. Doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, who could have figured out that these ghosts were in fact ghost type Pokemon? <laughs> Shocker, right, Tajay? Sweet. Got a level for that. What am I doing? Like she was possessed or something? I like that. The ghosts are possessing these uh, channelers. Is that what they call them? Super potion. I should probably catch one of these. I don't think I've actually caught one yet. I tried to catch one earlier when it was just a ghost and that didn't work out. A wild ghastly. Oops, I didn't ready it. Like, why isn't it working? I feel like it's been a while since we actually caught a Pokemon. It's still been a while. <laughs> been a while. Oh, I missed it. Stay put. Thank you. Thank you. It's interesting. This place looks like those are a bunch of gravestones, but obviously there's nothing buried underground because you're like in a building. So they must like put them inside there, like a little mausoleum for a Pokemon. So he is ghost type and poison type. What level is he? I missed what level he was. I think we came from the left, so we want to go this way. Yeah, that was right. I haven't used an escape rope yet, but I could see when that would be useful. Do they evolve twice? Do most things evolve once or twice? Oh. There we go. I'm trying to avoid these things. Ooh, teleport. I wonder what that does. Is there a Pokeball back there? There is a Pokeball back there. You can hardly see it. Full heal, which I don't know how they work. <laughs> Every time I use it incorrectly. Oh, he's gonna run into me. Oh, I couldn't avoid it. So it depends on the Pokemon. Some don't involve at all. Some once and some twice. Oh, interesting. Are the ones that evolve twice generally thought to be the best Pokemon? Of course. That was terrible. Ooh, almost got an excellent. Oh, that's pretty cool. Eevee can actually turn into different things. It's not always the same. Nice, Wartortle. 
and faithful. Welcome back, dude. How are you doing? Welcome back to the stream. And you think the only form Eevee can't evolve to is Espion in this game. Very um, versatile Pokemon. Oh, I don't know if I can avoid her. Oh, there we go. She turned. Any reason to go down here? Gotta be something hidden. Oh, never mind. No, I don't think I had to go down that way. Is Espion a good Pokemon? I haven't seen that one yet. For a ghost, they're still kind of cute. Oh, we don't see it in this game at all? Because this has all of the OG Pokemon, right? Because it's a remake of the first one, kind of. Another Ghastly? Nah, we'll keep that. We will keep Pikachu out here. And you are dead. Yeah, this was a good pick, Tajay. So not only do I get to play a more recent release of Pokemon, but it's also the first Pokemon at the same time. So I kind of know where it all sort of started in a way. <laughs> it's just like, is that a ghost? Yeah, you had it in your pocket. You threw it at me. This is the way we want to go. Oh, what is that on the floor? I'm kind of... Summoning circle? He doesn't seem to turn, so we have to fight her. I almost feel like I should just always go for the big ones, even if I don't need one, just to get the experience boost. A haunter? I haven't seen this guy yet. I'm guessing they have the same weaknesses as the other one. <laughs> Which means instant death by Pikachu. So in this one, Eevee only turns into Flareon, Electric Jolteon, which I've seen that one, and Vaporeon. I don't think I've seen that one. I feel bad for all these people. I feel like we're bringing them back to reality every time we beat them in battle. It's huge. Come over here. There we go. So, I don't really remember like reading much news when this game came out. What were people's thoughts of the whole mechanic of using the Joy-Con to actually catch them like that? Was that well received or were people upset about it? Because I know obviously they didn't do that on the Game Boy. Oh, it was only 198 experience, not much more. Let's see. And then there was uh, the Grass-type Leafeon and the Ice-type Glaceon in Gen 4. And they just keep adding that Eon types with different elements. You entered the purified and protected space and your Pokemon were fully healed. That is awesome. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Try to juke him a little bit. An ice stone. I don't know if I've found one of those yet. Dead end. I'm guessing they did the same thing in the original Pokemon. Kind of looking side to side and you can have a chance to avoid them if you don't want to fight. He's so big, isn't he, Phantasma? When I first saw him, I'm like, what is that guy? That doesn't look like one of my Pokemon. He's huge. Okay, this one doesn't move, so we'll have to battle her. A Haunter. 
Okay, we've taken this guy out before. Well, that's kind of a neat detail. There's some flowers on that uh, tombstone back there. Aw, oh, you jerk. That's okay. Instant hit. Is Eevee your favorite monkey? <laughs> Just a look on their face when they get beat. They're like, what was I doing? Where am I? Whose pants are these? Hyper potion? I'm guessing that's like a speed up kind of thing. Our chat. How you doing, dude? Or our hat. Sorry, I butchered that one. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Sorry about that. How you doing? Uh-oh. Something's happening. Be gone. It's a ghost voice. Actually, I have a ghost voice I could use for this. Be gone, intruders. Front row. Ah, this one's even bigger than the last one. Junkadia, use the thing. The thing you used last time. <laughs> Fantasma, don't do that again. Isn't that your favorite voice? Oh, is that the mom? Oh, it's not alive anymore. That's so sad. Did the little guy just not even know, I guess? The true form of the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calmed, returning to its kind and gentle nature. It departed to the afterlife and disappeared. So it was haunting this place, but no longer. Cubone, you, you just came here because you wanted to see your mom again, huh? Sorry for thinking your mom was scary, Cubone. Duncadia, I... I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. I'm going to go take it home. Oh, if there's someone named Fuji upstairs, do you think you could uh, see him home too? You sure you're okay by yourself? I'll be fine. I'm with Cubone now, after all. You've gotten pretty gutsy, haven't you, John Cadia? What? You rescued Cubone from Team Rocket? When did you go and get that strong? Right. Well then, I guess I'll leave this up to you, John Cadia. Come on, Cubone. Yeah, that was a pretty sad scene for sure. <laughs> it's like, oh, like, I mean, they had mentioned it, but I was at first I thought that's not going to be cool to him to come to the realization that his mom's dead. A rare candy. Nice. And our hat. Of course, dude. Shoot away. And imagine being 10 years old and playing this. Then you ask your mom, mom, what's death? <laughs> Especially if you hadn't lost a pet or something yet. <laughs> One. How dare you? <laughs> that was the first question. Oh. He was like right there. That was easy. Of course. Stop right there. We'll be going first. With that specter out of the way, we can finally get to the top. You're the old geezer they call Mr. Fuji, right? You're going to be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. Ignore us all you like. We're used to it. We won't take no for an answer. You'll help the boss, whether you like it or not. I just kicked your entire team's butt. What are you going to do to me? Let's see. You want to buy the game, but you want to know how it was first. Do you like it and do you recommend it? Now, Arhat, I might be coming from a different perspective because I have never played a Pokemon game before this one. And to my knowledge, if you haven't, this is a really good starting point because it's kind of a remake of the original Pokemon game. Now, there's a new one that just came out, which everybody's raving about. But I think for like a classic 
Pokemon experience. If you've never experienced one before or you want to play something that's very reminiscent of the old games, this would probably be a really good one to try out. I'm enjoying it so far, and I've never played one before. And Taj, I usually leave Ely itself off the team because it's a moveset that's too limited. And for the actual Evos, you rotate them out as needed for certain content. But if you had to pick a favorite, though, it'd probably be Sylveon. I haven't even seen that one yet, have I? And Cubone's mom isn't dead. She's just in a different realm. A spooky realm. <laughs> nice judge. It's like when you try to explain where the pets go to a kid when they die. Ramps here thinks he can resist, so we're setting him straight. You better disappear, twerp, or be prepared for a fight. I just wrecked you like 30 minutes ago. You want to try this again? Okay. And are we continuing to play this game after today? I can't remember if he said this is the last day. I think this is stream five, and I wanted to give it six solid streams to see where we're at in the game. But I think by the time we do that, we'll be probably three quarters done with the game or so. So we could probably just finish up the game after that, I think. I think we'll do some more streams, Phantasma. Okay, we actually beat these exact Pokemon last time, too. But I think I need to tag team one of them. Oh, theirs are actually more powerful this time. Makes sense. Okay, so for Weezing, I think I just did this. And for... Oh, did I pick the wrong one? No, this is right. I want to do this. Bone Meringue. There we go. <laughs> you want to set a timeline for your trauma? Is there more traumatic stuff after this? Probably. Ooh, dang, that did some damage. Oh, and they stopped Boomerang's attack. Okay, this will almost take him out. And let me try that one more time. This time, don't interrupt me. <laughs> oh, we got it. So now, does uh, Marowak use his Boomerang on the other character? first turn. Hopefully they just do that automatically. Ouch. Okay, we do. Good, good. Oh, we're not very efficient. Oh, it said it's super effective. Oh, because we're lower level. That's right. Okay, this time we're going to Thunderbolt him, and I'm going to use the dig so that we can kind of hopefully avoid an attack. Arhat, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. That's good, Taji. Less trauma than the rest of the game. <laughs> I think that's all the Pokemon they had. I didn't see any others at the top. Are you guys liking that new show? I haven't seen the new Boba Fett yet. I still have to watch Mandalorian. I'm way behind. And Beryl, Pika Pika Choo, how's it going, dude? Welcome. What do you want? You'll regret this. It's so funny. They run around thinking they're such badasses, Team Rocket, and they just get wrecked at every turn. Ah, seriously? Again? Looks like Operations stealthily kidnapped Fuji as a bust then. What was stealth about that? Don't you think I know that? It'll be fine. We just have to help out with the takeover of Silphco in Safford City. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Running away like a chicken again. Oh, it's basically more Mandalorian? That's cool. But you guess it's good because they couldn't have Pedro for the whole thing because he was filming Last of Us. I'm so curious to see how that game turns out. I have no idea. Oh, I should have healed and saved, huh? He probably wants to kick my butt for whatever reason. Oh, and who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket? Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were here. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Morowak. Is he a friend? Okay, I had no idea. I think Morowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Thank goodness. <laughs> I didn't need another battle right now. 
Oh, that's cool. I'm glad to hear they're improving things in that Phantasma. Ring Banana! How's it going, Ring Banana? It's great to see you again. So, Jonkadia, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, it will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. The Poke Flute. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. That's fantastic, because I hate it when my guys fall asleep. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokemon. Like the Snorlax? I think we saw one of those earlier. Oh, I am doing fantastic, Ring Banana. I just got back last week from visiting my parents for my birthday. That was fun. And uh, tonight we're actually going to go out to dinner at a Japanese restaurant. And we're going to do that tepon table where they cook the food in front of you. I'm very excited. Have more fur furries come while you were gone? I don't think so, Phantasma. But you never know. I didn't ask. I didn't ask. Okay, there's no sleeping Pokemon in here, so we have to go look for one to wake up. Oh, and you got laid off, Ring Banana, so you're back to applying for jobs? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That sucks. That is a shiny Marowak. I actually got two shinies in the last stream. We got, um, well, it was a Cubone, which we uh, just um, leveled up, but we also got a shiny Galbat, which is cool. I got them both like within an hour of each other. It was pretty crazy. Okay, we need to go to this Pokemon Center and heal up first. I just got really lucky. We haven't gotten one this stream yet. <laughs> it's why we hate John. <laughs> That's the only reason, Tajay? I'm giving you many reasons. Come on. Oh, and you got a shiny Vulpix? Yeah, while we were streaming. That's right, Monkey. You had to get a huge combo to get that. And you think that John is on furry Twitch? <laughs> oh, just, I mean, you might have a little bit more of that, but hey, no judging from here. That's cool. Do what you want to do. Everybody's got their interests. Actually, I think I got both my shinies like within like 10 or 15 minutes of each other. I have to go back and watch the stream, but they were very close together. Okay, so now that we've finished the tower, they told us we can wake up sleeping Pokemon. I don't know if there's one here we need to wake up. Um, maybe there was. Let's see. Can you guys hear that? I think Andy's vacuuming something right now. Or is it just me? Hopefully it doesn't come across in the uh, um, microphone a little bit. I might have to close my door. So is there a way to like look at, I should probably save it, but like what is the current mission? Where's the next place I need to go? Like we, we kind of finished that, but I don't know what the next place was. Does it show here? And that just kind of tells us how much we have. It's under communicate. Oh, that's for like online stuff, okay. I don't know if there is like a log or something. Maybe there is. I bet we have to continue going to this town again. Oh, I can just use my special ability, huh? That's up here. Pikachu! Pikachu! Oh, and that's not even just like, that's not a furry thing, of course, Phantasma. That's just, don't use that word. That's not cool. But uh, that's neat that they have an awesome... Um, convention in your town. That's really cool. So we want to go to Secret Techniques. Oh, thank you, Ring Banana. Yeah, when I saw a sailor outfit, I had to do it. We'll do Sky Dash. And we can go back to this town we were in. I think we were here. So maybe we need to go left now. Out of this town. There also might be a gym here that we can do. I think they mentioned a gym. Emily or something was the gym leader? I haven't even found it yet. That's the arcade. What is this? Trainer tips. X accuracy boosts a Pokemon's accuracy. Dire hit boosts the likelihood of critical hits. And those are like those permanent upgrades, right? 
Oh, and the Poke Center? I, d I did just... Didn't I already repair all my Pokemon? <laughs> repair? <laughs> They're leveled up. Oh, but there was something here I needed to talk to, right? Somebody else? One of these random people? Oh, it seems like you have had quite a marvelous adventure. That means I should increase the moves I can teach your Pokemon, so... Hey, you. You want me to teach you a marvelous move to Pikachu? Yes. Oh, this is the guy? Nice. Zippy Zap or Floaty Fall? I think I had Zippy Zap before, didn't I? Zippy Zap was that quicker attack, but I don't even use it anymore. Floaty Fall is a good one. Should an old move be forgotten? Yes. Okay, what is it? Oh, it's a flying attack. Hmm. 90 damage, 95 accuracy. The user floats in the air and then dives at a steep angle to attack the target. This may also make the target flinch. Okay, what should we get rid of? Wait, did I press the wrong button? I think I did. Yes. Floaty fall. Should an old move be forgotten? Yes. There we go. Hmm. Maybe slam? Slam's kind of weak. Oh, it's 80 damage, actually. Brick Break 75. Thunderbolt's like my main attack. I could get rid of agility. You think get rid of slam? I, I don't ever remember like what's weak against normal attack, so I, I'm never really sure when to use it. I usually use it when lightning doesn't work. All right, let's swap it out. Oh, dang. So 75 accuracy is actually really bad. I assume 75 is like 75%. There we go. Thank you for reminding me to go there, Pache. And Sheely. And how's it going, Sheely, by the way? Um, you apparently get COVID pay whenever you, pr you previously got it. You'll take some free COVID. Trust me, though. It was a joke. COVID sucks. But that, does that mean you're going to get back pay, Sheely, for uh, other time you missed or something? So anything less than 100% is 50%. Oh, gotcha. That's crazy. Okay, so we want to try to find the gym here. Hey, it's Brock. He was another gym leader, wasn't he? Hey, I didn't expect to run into you here. I'm on my way back from visiting the Celadon City Gym. Keeping in touch with the other gym leaders is part of our duties after all. The girls at that gym all turned me away for some reason, though. Actually, I have some pewter crunchies. I'd brought them as a gift to the gym here. Pewter crunchies. Oh, and you're probably going to want some tea after eating them. Pewter crunchies can make you thirsty. Oh, there was a guy that was blocking us from passing through that wanted um, tea, I remember. Ah, and I don't have enough left to give you that thirsty guard now. Anyway, it looks like you've been visiting the gyms in the other cities. I wish you the best. So definitely aim for over 100, huh, monkey? Or at least 100. So not just the guy, when you go through those, give it to the guy, it'll unlock all those guard houses. Oh, sweet, nice. Is that something we need to progress or is that like a shortcut or something? Being surrounded by my beloved Pokemon while enjoying some rest and a nice cup of tea. Moments like these mean the most to me. It is a shortcut, sweet. Yeah, we definitely have to do another one, Phantasma. We kind of skipped one because I was taking so much time off and just falling behind on beating these games. But maybe when we wrap up this one, would be a good time. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but sure. Why not? There we go. Yeah, we haven't done Among Us in quite a while. And like, I'm sure it's practically a totally different game since I last played it. it. Seems like they've added roles and all kinds of stuff. I just haven't experienced. I should probably try to play it on my own before jumping into the game. Yeah, as much as I love doing voice chat with all of you guys, I think on stream at least, 
it can get kind of almost impossible with like, you know, six or eight people chatting at the same time. Because I also have to chat with chat, of course. So I think text chat probably works better than that. How dare you have a life outside of Stroud? I'm sorry, Relentless. <laughs> the nerve. I mean, usually we don't take off too much time from the stream. This last month has been kind of crazy because I had Christmas break, but that was wrecked because of weather. So then I took another break to visit my parents after that. And why does the Among Us have their first and last name flipped? Is it like a stationary written? Among, among Us? <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about, Judge? Okay, I think we're still going up. There we go. Is this the gym? This doesn't look like a gym. I'm the game director. I'm very happy you're playing this game. Good luck with filling up your Pokedex. If you collect all the Pokemon, let me know. That's kind of cool. Gus is usually the first name, like the Gus you see here, perhaps? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wrote the story. Hey, tell me, don't you think Erica is cute? I like Misty a lot, too. Oh, and Sabrina. I like her, too. Oh, check out. There's like some Nintendo Switches here. It's the game code. Messing it with it could bug out the game. So, so let me mess with it. Oh my gosh, Overcooked would be insane. Although, unfortunately, it's only four players, I think. For community games, I definitely like to pick something we can get a lot of players into at once. Me? I'm a programmer. I'm a graphic artist. I'm the one who designed you. Overcooked is so much fun. Um, I've basically totally beaten the first game, I think. We've got 100%. And we did a lot in Overcooked 2, but I haven't completely finished it yet. Like, I beat the main game, but I haven't, like, three-starred everything. You probably won't know what I'm talking about, but come back once you earn a title. Hmm. Now, I'm curious, did you do it single-player or multiplayer, Phantasma? Because I think it gets harder the more players you have. You did both? Nice. Because they actually give you, I think, harder achievements. But then, of course, working with your friends, you got to be in sync totally to meet those requirements. Okay, so that was a dead end. Let me go back here. Is solo even harder? Dang, I haven't actually tried it solo. I've only played with Andy, and then I did a few four-player games. I'm having a meeting with an important client. You want to join in? <laughs> Can't be that important if you're going to let me join in. Oh boy, must be nice working at a company where you don't ever have to wear a suit. That's me. I never have to wear a suit. I would hate having to wear a suit every day. Very much business casual. Oh, do you have a video of a solo run? Oh, you should definitely post that. That would be cool to see. Is this not where I needed to go at all? I don't think this is actually the gym. <laughs> I thought it was exploring the gym. That's just like an office building. Condominiums. I was so confused because that guy came out and he said, oh, I was just visiting the gyms. There's the department store. I don't think the gym's in there. Oh, you know what? I think I saw the gym at the bottom of the screen there. I bet we have to go down here. Or maybe not. Gym is at the bottom. Is this it? Oh, this is the hotel. I think I went right by it. <laughs> and time for a workout again instead of the game? Are, do you need a workout, Judge? I need a workout every all the time. I'm still getting back into shape after my little vacation. This is the restaurant. Oh, there's a bush you have to cut down. Okay. Not there. Did I skip the bush? Oh, because I'm looking for gyms. I actually never go to a gym. I just have workout equipment at home. Oh, right here. I totally missed that. There we go. I've been to a gym a few times with friends, but I never got a membership myself. Here it is. Ha, 
This gym is great. It's full of strong trainers. Okay, let's save it right before this. You know, the levels I usually found the most infuriating in Overcooked were the ones where that were like there was like the spaceships and they would kind of like connect and then disconnect. And if you didn't time it right, you wasted a bunch of time or the ice levels. And I would have like a fully prepared meal and then I would dump it in the water on accident because I would slip. Oh, yeah, because they said these were grass types. So that new flying move would be really good. Oh, so you want to challenge Erica, the gym leader? I'll have you know, we only let trainers with cute Pokemon into the gym. Do you have one? Here, let me see. They're all cute. What are you talking about? Huh? Pikachu. It's cute. Super cute. Can I, can I pet it? Just a bit, please? <laughs> Relentless Erica is cute, too. Oh, it feels so good. I just want to bury my face in its belly. Okay, if I skipped part of that discussion, man, this is sounding very, very dirty. It smells good, too. I love it. It keeps getting worse. Fine, then. I guess I'll have to let you into Celadon City Gym, seeing as I, as you brought a cute Pokemon and all. Do Eevee and Pikachu both succeed? I think that even... I mean, honestly, I think they're all cute to some degree. But Marowak? Heck yeah, that's cute. But being that it's kind of like, you know, a skull, <laughs> they might not like it. <laughs> Ring banana, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> you can only come into my house if you have a really cute pet. Anything you show her is cute? Okay, that's good. Ah, you're the one who I saw earlier. I'll show you my cute Pokemon. So I feel like it makes sense to get your way to the gym leader and then go back Prepare all your Pokemon, and then come back and fight the gym leader, right? Oh, Oddish. Haven't seen him in a long time. You showed her drowsy? Nice. Um, so grass type, this should be a good attack. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that escalated quickly. It was so cute at first with the balloons, and then Pikachu just went mad and attacked. Sweet, another level. <laughs> I like that. You're too rough. But you're Sauntry, and you haven't been around in a minute, but promise no, I will. Oh, it's always great to see you, Ring Banana. And how have you been, by the way? What's new? What's happening in the life of Ring Banana? Oh, can we cut through these? Yes, we can. Nice. I'll also do both of them. Super busy and anxious? That's not good. I mean, super busy can be good, but it can also not be. Depends on what you're busy with. I'm going to avoid as many of these other trainers as I can. Ah, crap. This is a big hedge maze to get there, isn't it? Weren't we speaking earlier? This is a picnicker, also probably grass types. I don't know if that's a grass type or not. It might be. Let's try grass attack and see. It was super effective, but still not quite powerful enough. Oh, thank you very much, Ring Banana. I always try to keep it a very chill, fun, but like relaxing and welcoming vibe so that I'm not super excited and crazy and breaking keyboards and all that. More of like a just chill and have fun and you can actually like get away from things for a little bit here. We all have enough madness in our life. Right? Bam! There we go. That one was not effective, but I didn't need it to be.
<laughs> I like that. She says, I'll see myself out. Okay, so we gotta go down here. I think this way. Oops. Meant to hit yes. It's interesting. Uh, just because it's easier, I've been using the trigger to like confirm and do things, but sometimes it acts as like cancel. It's not always confirmed. Just depends on the context. There might be another trainer down here. I just want to see if there's a Pokeball. Anything? Oh no, that's a shortcut backwards. Darn it. <laughs> Think the battle's right up here. Oh, we just went right behind her. Never mind, this is way longer than I thought. Oof, almost ran into her. Let's try this way. Unfortunately, after doing all this, I almost don't want to go backwards because I feel like I'd have to just do the whole maze again. <laughs> just get lost. I think this is the right way. We found it. Okay, good. Do I need to heal anybody else before we do this? Andy's taking a little bit of damage, so... I don't have a regular potion. I'll just use a super potion. That's not very much. Um, all right, I think we're good. I think we could save it. Maybe I should use a few candies first. What does rare candy do? When consumed, it instantly raises the level of a single Pokemon. That's great. I think Cubone or Marowak is one I'm going to want to keep, especially because it's a shiny. So maybe I should uh, level him up a little bit. Or should we wait, wait for those? I guess, Monkey, they become more valuable later because the levels become harder and harder to get, right? Because they require more experience. That makes sense. Okay, let's uh, increase the defense of some of these guys. You have 77. What do you have? 62? Okay. Andy definitely needs more defense. Health candy. Increase HP. Let's do both of them. Actually, Andy has like a lot of health. Why does it say red and blue? Let me read this again. A big candy that's packed with energy. When given to a Pokemon at level 30 or higher, it increases that Pokemon's speed stat. Oh, I see, because they're not level 30 yet. Okay. We can use it on Pikachu, though. I think I'll save the rest for now. Let's go ahead and save it. I think this is going to be perfect time for the stream, actually. We'll just be able to beat this gym. Now, do you have to beat all the gyms to complete the game, or are any of them optional? Because when we've done this one, we're right at the halfway point as far as gyms. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Did she just fall asleep? Oh dear, I must have dozed off. There's a little narcoleptic. Okay, all of them are required. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the gym leader of the Celadon City Gym. I am a student of the art of flower arranging. I've fallen asleep, apparently. My Pokemon are all of grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you wish to uh, challenge me? Very well, but I shall not lose. So Cubone won't be useful here because Cubone will be weak against grass type. Angela. Whoa, I've never seen that thing before. Okay, so I got three grass types to deal with. I love this one. It's just so funny how it's like, oh, chill and nice. Mega Drain. Oh, dang. That's going to do some damage and undo my damage. Shucks. Okay. Do that again. Pikachu! 
So fire is good against grass type, right? Ha ha, and you flinched. <laughs> Major flinch. One down. But I think we're gonna have to use a healing item here. Yeah, uh, Charm of the On would be good too, but also very low level, which we might still get killed immediately. I didn't see though, what level was that guy? 35? Yeah, our Charm of the is only 29. In a pinch, we could take it out and do some damage, but it'll get killed very quickly. Oh, that's a cool one. Level 34. I think this one's a little bit weaker. Oh, it avoided my attack. Jerk. Yeah, that was a good call, Tasha. Yeah, this would have been really difficult without that. Okay, I need a heal. That's almost a full heal. Oof. Okay, I think I can get an attack off now. Without getting killed in one hit. Crack! Okay, one more of those and we got it. But I'm probably going to have to heal right now. Oh, but it healed itself. It's so sad. It says it looked like it might cry. Aw. Thank goodness. What are we at now? 70 hit points? It's still healing itself. I'm going to heal one more time and then blast it. Oh, we got to go to your work meeting. Phantasma, thank you so much for hanging out all stream. I hope you have a conductive meeting, you know? <laughs> conductive electricity. Hopefully it's, you know, not a big waste of time as meetings are apt to be. But yeah, I'll definitely see you on Tuesday. Take care. <laughs> okay, good, Fantastic. You got that out of your system. <laughs> that was so sad. Come on, critical hit. A critical hit would be great. Nope. It's effective, but didn't kill it. Oh, now we can finish him off, maybe. He flinched. That flinch ability is so useful. Oh my goodness. Nice. Okay, that's two. We're going to have to heal again real quick. Oh, we got a lot of experience for that. A weeping bell. I've never seen that before. Just for the hell of it, let's um swap out to... Carmelian, let him take a shot. I'm, he's probably going to get killed in one hit. <laughs> Face on that guy. I also could have tried to use Ember. I don't know what the deal of that one is. Or th that dragon attack that I have. And we might actually kill him. He's a little bit lower level than the other two Pokemon we fought. Yes! Nice! Go Charmeleon. Still grinding, monkey? <laughs> I can't do that too much in games. It's not like I used to. I think I kind of prefer shorter to the point games than kind of the more grindy games. From time to time, I can. All ring banana, thank you so much for the lurk. You to have a good one. I concede defeat. You are remarkably strong. Five grand. 
That was a little bit easier than some other battles, but thanks to Tajay with that uh, hint, that helped quite a bit. I must confer on you a rainbow badge. Wait. A rainbow badge raises the level of a Pokemon willing to listen to you to level 50 for Pokemon that you have received from other trainers. And here, if you'd like, please also take this with you. And we got the Mega Drain. That's a good attack. Half the damage it inflicts is drained from the target and heals your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that's a wonderful move? Yeah, that dude stayed alive forever. I couldn't kill it. Okay, so what was the deal? I can level up one of my Pokemon to level 50? What's the deal with that? Like, it seems like it's really powerful, but you can only use it once. You should probably use it, like, early, right? Oh, it means a Pokemon up to level 50 will obey you. Okay, I misunderstood what she was saying. Okay, I bet we can take a lot of shortcuts out of here. Oh, when you get a really powerful Pokemon, they can disobey you, so you need that ability. I guess that's to stop you from grinding too much. Like, if I try to grind my Pokemon to level 50 early on, then they have a chance to just ignore me. Interesting idea. That's kind of cool. I had no idea they could do that. Well, I should probably talk to that girl over here before we go. My Jigglypuff has an adamant nature. It's easy to raise its attack, but not so easy to raise its special attack. Its double slap is a real slap in the face. And the last badge makes everything obeyed in the eye. <laughs> Ultimate power. Okay, so... With that said... I just kind of want to start going the right direction for the next spot, and we'll save it there. And my, my guess is we're done with this town. We've done the hideout. We did the gym. We probably need to go this way now, right? Aha! And that's why we need the ability to wake this sucker up with a flute, huh? A Pokemon is sprawled out in a deep and comfortable slumber. You want to use the Poke Flute? Yes. Can we also keep this Pokemon? Because that'd be cool. Uh-oh, was I not supposed to do that? The Snorlax woke up. Snorlax is looking at you. And it looks hungry. Ruh row. Hey, Jocadia. There's something I forgot to mention when I gave you the Poke Flute. Oh, no. Oh, perfect timing. You see, this Pokemon is called Snorlax. It's been known to attack the first thing it sees after waking up. I th it thinks what it sees is food. Since it could be pretty dangerous, please help it calm down by battling it with your Pokemon. Once you defeat it, It'll become more docile. You should be able to catch it, just like any other Pokemon. The Snorlax mistook you for food and attacked. Crap, did I... I don't think I ever repaired my Pokemon. So, uh, there is only this and one other Snorlax in the whole game, so it's best to save just before in case you fail. Crap, that sucks. Oh, good night, Yui. Thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, it's level 34. I have no idea what it's like weak against. I can look at info on this? He's a normal type. Okay, I have no idea I can actually look their types anytime I want it. This one, Brick Breaker, would be good. So fighting is good against normal, is that right? Although I maybe should have healed, too. Oh, good. That wasn't a very powerful attack. We should um, use a heal now anyway. And the fighting type moves is the weakness. Now off you go. Aw, see you, Yui. Thanks again. He's a chunky boy. I can see why he has so much HP. Luckily, that doesn't do a ton of damage.
This could suck. That was way more damage. Okay. Use Lick again. Oh no! It's gonna put me to sleep? Resist, Pikachu. Resist. Wait. He healed himself. Are you kidding me? But he's asleep. Okay, so now I can do a lot of damage while he's asleep. I wonder if I should use a heal. Let's get a couple hits in and then heal. Maybe I should heal right now. He's even beefier when he does that. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to kill him multiple times. Okay, he's gonna wake up now, I think. Or the next turn, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use all my brick breaks on this guy. I think we need two more. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, keep using that attack. It does hardly anything. Oh, so close. No, don't heal yourself again. Oh, it put me to sleep? Andy grew drowsy. We're not asleep yet. We should be able to finish him off right now. Nice. Okay, so now we still have to catch it. We just made him more docile, right? Now's your chance. Catch the wild snorlax. Should I feed him? Because it's like hard to get him right now. Hmm. I haven't looked at a lot of these. The berry makes you slightly more likely to get an item when it's given a Pokemon you're trying to catch. And I'll try to do that. Golden Pineapple Berry. Makes you drastically more likely to get an item. A Nana um, calms wild Pokemon you're trying to catch slightly when you give in to them. Silver Raz very makes it easier to catch Pokemon. Okay, so this is probably my best one. There we go. And then I want to also I can switch my balls. So Ultra Ball is my best. I think yeah. Or, or what's a Premier Ball? Is Premier better? No, Premiers are the one that just look different. They're not actually any better, right? Okay, let's use this one. Hey, that was pretty good. Oh, we jerk. No, it's going to keep using these balls, I think. That was weak. Come on, come on. That was weird. It like I just put my hand back up and it happened. There we go. Stay in there. Nice. <laughs> now I don't have to worry about trying to get the next one, which would be my last chance, right? So is Snorlax one that's just so good we should probably toss him in our party right now you think so it's the positioning when you hit the a button uh, to ready that matters oh okay that makes sense i gotta always start like horizontal press a and then do that right sometimes i'm probably a little loosey-goosey with how i do that So he will eat anything, even if the food happens to be a little moldy. It never gets an upset stomach. It's pretty much me. He's just really tanky, so maybe don't need to put him on the party right now, but for certain battles, he's really good. Oh my, Joncadia, that was impressive. There are other Pokemon out there that will try to attack trainers, just as Snorlax did. When facing such a Pokemon, the best thing to do is defeat it, then catch it. Remember, defeat, then catch, in that order. Well, I will see you later. You would assume those tougher to get ones are gonna be better than the ones you had before. He's solid to use, but you don't need anyone in this game except for Andy. I was just thinking like, strategically, like, oh, this one's always pretty good almost in every situation kind of thing. 
Okay, let's go ahead and save it. This is actually a perfect stopping point because I have to start getting a few things ready before I go out uh, to dinner with some friends. That's going to be fun. I can't wait. But we made some pretty good progress, I think, today. We did the tower, we did the hideout, and we did a gym. Not too shabby. Sweet. All right. That in sleep mode.